Hello, hello, hello. Check one, two. One, two, three. It's uh, testing the colors here. I think everything is looking okay. I did rewatch. It did seem like we had some drowned out colors. A bit too dark yesterday. I'm hoping that I fixed it. I can't be positive. Not until we get into some darker scenes. I think it was trying to display like HDR or something. Which can do it. Which can do it if it's not being transmitted correctly. But we'll see if uh, I fixed it or not. Did some tests. Uh, yeah, I mean, it looks okay right now, but obviously all we're doing is looking at the Red Dead Redemption logo and this skull. Colors seem fine to me for the moment, but we'll see. We'll see when we get into it. Alright, well, anyway, welcome back, hello, hello, and happy Tuesday. I am, of course, Fanable, and we are here to continue more Red Dead Redemption 1. First Red Dead Redemption from 2010. Continuing where we left off yesterday, we did a bunch of main missions. Um, we got shot by Bill who has created his own gang and taken over Fort Mercer. Causing a lot of chaos in the surrounding areas, towns, counties. And after getting shot, a Bonnie, Bonnie McFarland, took us in and we've been kind of living on their ranch, helping out a bit. And then we helped with the marshal over in Arbadillo. We met a, a con artist selling snake oil. <laughs> That's about it, though. And the last thing we did do, I think, I think the very last thing we did do was uh, saving the horses from the barn, which um, somebody, arson, tried to burn it down with the horses inside. We rescued the horses, so that's good. Now, is it going to ask me for the difficulty every single time? Hmm, Maybe. Hopefully it's not starting the game over. Hopefully my saves are still intact. So yeah, that's where we left off. We're here at the ranch, and we're going to jump right back into it. Not much else to discuss, really. We're not going to do a ton of side activities. We've only done one set of stranger missions. We might pop into another stranger mission here or there. But obviously the main purpose of this playthrough that we're doing is just to continue the main story, ideally. We want to continue the main story with John Marston after finishing Red Dead Redemption 2. So we probably won't try to knock out like all the stranger missions like we were doing in... Red Dead Redemption 2, but we will probably do a few every once in a while, especially if we stumble up, just like, if they're like on the path to where we're going, which I believe one is. If we look at the map, for example, um, yeah, over here with Seth, there is a stranger mission right next to him, so we could do that, maybe first. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. But yeah, otherwise we're going to be focusing mostly on the main game. We're trying the mini games when we when we come upon them just to like compare them, try them out. I don't mind horseshoes. The horseshoes mini game I kind of found fun. Um, I wouldn't have mind minded playing an, uh, a, a newer version of that, honestly, in Red Dead Redemption 2. Compared to something like Five Finger Filet, I think I probably would have had horseshoes in the, in the newer game. But maybe that's just me. Reese, hello. Welcome back. Happy Tuesday. And, uh, yeah, we're just going to jump right in here. Uh, again, welcome back, everybody else. Don't forget to hit the like button if you have not yet already. Subscribe, comment, share, all of the good things. Let's get started. Let's go. Yes, 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 yes. We've been waiting for you. 
This guy said that he was waiting for me. This is a $10 poker, not a $25 buy-in. I'm not going to worry about more poker for the moment. We do have another bounty over here on the wall. Should we keep doing bounties? I'm, I'm undecided whether or not I find the bounties very eventful. I am not finding a need for money just yet. Uh, we actually have... I feel like we have plenty of money right at the start. I do enjoy doing the bounties. It's definitely more interesting being that they're, they're, they're like, their buddies pop in to res help rescue them. It doesn't make a ton of sense how they keep showing up. <laughs> like, how do they know that they've been jumped? Unless you have, like, somebody... They should have probably done something like that, I feel like. If you... They should have, like, one or two guys, if they're with a bounty, try to get away. And if you don't stop them, m men will start pouring in trying to rescue them. That would have been a nice touch. That would have made sense. We're just going to have to go with the video game logic on this. Maurice Sweet. Maurice Sweet? Eh, sure, why not? Let's go get Maurice Sweet. I mean, it depends on how you define laggy. Reese, like, is it buffering? Come on. What are you guys taking up over here? That's the bounty target to capture him alive. As long as we don't accidentally shoot him. No, don't get back on the horse. We're gonna do this the same as we did last time. Put him on the horse. Let's go try to loot some guys, get some extra money. We'll kill the other guys as they're coming in. See, I feel like this is a lot of money. This feels like a lot of money. But we haven't really tried to... What? <laughs> it's a rabbit with an ant some antlers. What is this called? What the heck? Yeah, what is one of these rabbits with antlers called? These mythical creatures. I've lost it. You know what I'm talking about, right? It was a thing that, like, taxidermists would do. They'd put antlers on a rabbit. <laughs> oh, there it is. I guess we'll pro I can hunt it. Maybe we'll find out. Make it go extinct. Well, tell me. Let's find out. This is dirty. Jackalo! <laughs> this ain't nice. 
know. All right, let's get out of here. Well, this guy was a bit different from the other ones. Every other bounty has had two people coming in. Oh, shoot. Whoa, okay. Yeah. They usually had two coming in. This guy only had one. Take him off of me. We don't need him. <clears throat> yes. Yep. The jackalope. Hang it. Hang it on the wall. Duster Coat Menu Entry Updated. Come Duster on. Coat Menu Entry Added. Okay. <laughs> the honorable deeds have earned. You reduce prices in most shops. You can now wear the Duster outfit. Hurrah! Thieves Landing. Shouldn't Thieves Landing be fairly close to here? Can we go there anytime? I wonder how much it is. Elegant suit. At least it has a hat, unlike the gentleman's attire. Bullard Twins outfit. We've almost done. We just need to go to Thieves Landing and... Wait, purchase at the tailor in Thieves Landing? I'm assuming it'll unlock at that point. We can go get a Bullard Twins outfit and the Elegant Suit. Here's the Duster Coat. Coat protects your clothes from trail dust, but not much else. Let's take a look-see. Mm. I don't know how I feel about it. If it, had, if it had been black, I think I might be down. Clashes with the rest of his gray outfit. Otherwise, I'd like it. Alright, let's move on. I kind of want to continue the Marshall's missions at this point. So we might do that first, and then maybe we'll hit up this stranger before doing Seth. So yeah, let's head back to Armadillo, do Marshall's. Marshall Johnson. Oh, and the follow-up for American Appetites is here too. So yeah, might as well do that. Yeah, the horses are pretty fat. Well, it could also just be that this is a war horse. But it is pretty dang fast. Probably would have preferred not getting the war horse out of the gate. I guess I don't have to use it. We could opt to not use it. I mean, we've got the deed. We could go back to it if and when we need to. I guess it depends. 
Depends on what other horses we get or come across. got a stranger mission right here and we just talked about stranger missions but I'm like I did say if we come across it if it's in our path this is more or less in our path so let's go see what's going on here oh goodness hello well howdy excuse me friend mind if I rest up at your camp spell that'd well, be my pleasure man needs a break from this desiccated land thank you mister Say, what's that stick you got there? Oh, y'all ain't never seen a dowsing rod before, mister? Never seen a man summon the water up from the bare earth, uh, mister, uh... Marston. Ah. No, can't say I have. Hmm. It's water you're looking for. What's wrong with that lake over there? Oh, there ain't nothing wrong with Lake Don Julio. Nothing wrong with it, but we lack the fancy irrigation equipment you folks have back east. So, man needs a wellspring on his proper tie to ranch here. His proper tie. Makes sense. Yeah. Why, you know, just last week, I was over at Old Pleasant's house. Now, I think I may have found something, but old coot that owns the place threatened to call the law down on me, so. People act funny around strange men with sticks. They sure do. <laughs> Damn fools. <laughs> Bet you he don't even know how much water's running underneath his proper tie. Proper you, tie. Tell him? <laughs> you know what? You ain't that stupid, mister. And I can tell. I'll tell you what. Why don't you go get the old man to sell us his proper top for a small pittance? Then I can find the source of the water, build us a proper wellspring. Maybe I will. Well, all right then. <laughs> I'm just gonna start talking like that always. Any word that ends with a Y, I'm gonna I'm gonna say it like it ends with an A. <laughs> oh, Rella! We're gonna go see if we can find this here proper tar. We gotta go past all of our objectives to go check it out. Will this disappear if we don't get to it right away? Ah, let's do it while I'm thinking about it. Forget. What's up, Nama? How goes it? Welcome. Happy Tuesday. We're gonna ride right on past Armadillo. Let's go. Hit straight for Pleasance. Am I going the right way? Is this Pleasance up here? deer yet. Not a clean shot. Look at the way it's jumping. <laughs> uh, that's so silly. Commenting on the smell. That's not something I remember Arthur doing. Why 
can I talk to anybody? Is it because I'm on my horse? Can't talk to people while I'm on my horse? What is this guy doing? Oh, he's taking a pee break. He does not mind the company. <laughs> Where's Pleasance? Are we going the right way? No. We probably could have just kept following the road. There it is. Come on. We had a gunfight on this property just recently. Howdy, friend. I didn't know anyone lived out here. Whoa! Now you can't rob the place now, can you? Now get! Friendly old bastard, ain't you? I don't need me no friends, friend. We all need friends, old timer. We die alone, but we live among men. You know, I was interested in moving out this way with my family. Would you be willing to sell me a parcel of land? We wouldn't even have to speak or nothing. Land's too dry for farming. Bandits run all the cattle off. Why you want this land? I guess I just like the scenery. Well, I don't know. Maybe for $200 I could give you the deed to this land, find myself a place up in Blackwater. Although I never could stand the people down there. No, sir. Shoot, we can actually do it? Shoot, why not? Let's do it. Okay, I'll take it. Here you go then, partner. Good luck out here. Oh, now we have a place to sleep. Let's save before we return. What the hell? What? Did he just shoot? What happened? I don't know. I don't know what's going on. No, don't stand on the bed, John. Sleep. Sleep on the bed. Where's me horse? Let's go. Let me guess, we gotta go all the way back to that camp. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Well, we can't kill animals with our horse, apparently. So you don't have to worry about that. Hmm. You know, we could say this war horse is a girl. We've, we've noticed that all of the models look the same. There's no real t well it, way to tell if they're a boy or a girl. Not in this game, unless one of the characters outright says, This could be our new Zoe. It's the right color. This is actually a very uh, close color to our old Zoe, I think. I like that. New Zoe. Zoe 2.0. Right? Zoe was like a... Not this dark a brown. She had black... A black mane. 
Ruby, Ruby was a deep red. I'm not going to want to trade this horse up. But having said that, we do have the deed. So even if we trade it off for another horse, we could always bring Zoe back in that sense. I like that. We need to name... We need to call her something, right? So, I like Zoe. We'll we'll, we'll say this is Zoe. I sure hope you ain't empty handed. Howdy. You got the deed? Yep. There it is. Ah, here about it is all around the same as anyone's seen. All right. Good of you to put your own money up for the deed. There you go. There's a little something extra in there for you. Always oh. best when these transactions go smoothly. Particularly when you can make more money out of it. Mm. Good luck with the property, McAllister. Oh, yeah. We got our money back. It was all worth it in the end. Alright, now let's get to Armadillo. So fast! Sinexter, how's it going? Welcome back. Happy Tuesday to you. Hmm. Can we do American Appetites first? I don't, I don't think it's possible. I think they'd be out here, right? If we didn't have... Marshall Johnson's to do. Marshall John. I don't have a clue. All right, but it's got to be something to do with that government boy. We'll talk to him. Find out what he knows. He fucking is. Where is she, Marston? Who? Who? Excuse me. My daughter, you fucking scum. Where's Bonnie? I don't know. I haven't seen her since after the fire. Why? Why? Because she hadn't been seen since yesterday afternoon. You know, I don't think I can cope. If I lose another child... Now, Drew, nobody's lost anything yet. I'm sure she's fine. Oh, Mr. Marshall! Mr. Marshall! Come out, come out, wherever you are! Who the hell's that? Hey, buddy! <laughs> that be your next fucking mayor. Even better! Good day, Mr. McFarlane! Get down from that horse, boy, or I'll shoot. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend that, mister. Not if Drew McFarlane wants to see his bony back in one piece. Hey, Mr. McFarlane! This is a nice girl you got there. Get out from there. You know, part of me's got to thinking I should just marry her myself. Give her a baby and that. What do you want? That's better. I want Norman Deke. I want him set free. Then you'll get your daughter back, mister. We don't do deals with outlaws, boy. Yeah, you do. Let's not waste each other's time pretending otherwise. Oh, government themselves ain't much more than a bunch of crooks. This is the land of opportunity, mister. And I'm giving you the opportunity to get your daughter back before 15 friends of mine take out all their anger and their loneliness on her. Where the hell is she? Where is she, boy? Bring Deke up to Tumbleweed in a couple hours. And don't get no funny ideas, or I will slit that horse throat myself. Boys, have a pleasant afternoon. Yeah! I'm going to tumbleweed. We do as he says. You and me, Marshal. Mr. McFarlane, I'll get you your daughter back. I owe her that. Please do. Out 
I'll teach you some respect for the law. Hurry up, boy. Let's go. Quick as you can, deputy. Make sure he's tied on good. Stay with me, Marston. I won't let anything happen to her, sir. Come on. Let's get this charmer to tumbleweed. See, this is what happens when the Federals interfere in our affairs. Are you happy now? No, I ain't happy at all. And I already told you, I ain't with the government. Now you say that, John, but the only thing I know for sure is who sent you. They made me come here. They gave me no choice. That's your federal government, Mr. Johnson. They come down here dressed as cocky as the King of Diamonds, talking a lot of flannel about helping us, about spreading peace and civilization to the West, but they brought nothing but trouble and taxes. I agree with you. Wolves in sheep clothing, all of them, rob you, then make you pay to have someone investigate the crime on your behalf. People around here have been fooled into feeling protected when they're worse off than they were before. The fellas I know don't care about people. All they care about is lining their pockets. Let's go. Why is this sorry son of a bitch so important to them? Norman Deke, Williamson, right-hand man. In other words, a glorified errand you boy. Wait, Marshal. I'll be back for you. Bill standards have slipped. We already filled you with lead once, you lovely bastard. That's the kind of man who's mean enough to be second in command, but too cowardly and stupid to ever be a leader. Don't ever use that line near your deputies. You know, for his sake, they'd best not have laid a finger on Miss McFarland. Ew. What is this place we're headed? Tumbleweed, a lonely godforsaken place. Some people say it's haunted. It was quite a town back in its day. Then they built the railroad to Armadillo and went clean past Tumbleweed. And that was that. Pretty soon, everybody had up and left. Now it's just thieves, smugglers, and bandits. Scum like Deke here. Oh, popular spot for lynchings, too. Let's try to avoid that if we can, Marshal. I just hope you're not taking advantage of the McFarland, Marston. They saved my life. Gave me food and fed when they had no idea who I was. I owe them more than I can ever repay. That's just they've been through a lot. Well, they're both vulnerable in different ways. I wouldn't have been running in and out of a burning barn to save their horses otherwise. Oh, I know you helped, just like you helped me. But you got your reasons for doing it. It's no secret why I'm here, Marshal. I told you the very first time I walked into your office. I trust you. It's just all this business with Blackwater and Williamson and the past. I don't know. Sometimes it's hard not to have doubts. I understand. I never planned to be in the lawman business, neither. How is this best supposed to turn out? Sending an outlaw to do the work of a lawman. That's madness. Ain't much difference between the two, as far as I can tell. There have to be rules, Marston. Even you must understand that. It's easy to make up rules, but they ain't much use if people don't understand why. Like my son. If I tell him not to do something, he'll do it anyway, just to spite me. If I punish him, he resents me for it. But if I show him why it's wrong, at least he has reason not to do it again. That's nonsense. Without laws, we're nothing more than animals. You look at Deke here. Go to hell! Man has worked hard at civilization. If your boy steps out of line, you whack him. If he does it again, whack him harder. You're a good man, Marshal. And I respect what you're trying to do. From what I've seen since I've arrived here, the law ain't really working. Criminals are like weeds, Marston. Quick as you stomp one out, another one sprouts up in its place. It's the nature of places. You know that as well as I do. The problem with laws is everybody ain't the same. Why should a bunch of rich university boys in the East... Fuck you! Yeah. you myself, I swear! Mm. <laughs> uh, I ain't had my turn. Interrupted us. It is interesting that this entire story basically stems on Bill deciding not to finish John Marston off when he had the chance. <laughs> I mean, Bill and his gang could have easily killed John. John, you'll be exchanging the prisoner for Bonnie in the middle of town. Keep your eyes open. I sincerely doubt these scum plan to play fair. Fair my ass. You bet. Besides, Norm here is going to be my shield, ain't you, Norm? <laughs> It'd be my pleasure. Marston, lead Deke into town. 
Make sure you keep a gun on that son of a bitch. Faster, faster, faster. For the boys to have a whore to play with. I hear those rancher girls like it in the rear. Maybe she won't want to go home. She been fucked so good. What are you waiting for? I'm Tommy Pillar. <laughs> right, Teresa. I thought we had a deal. Is it even yeah. possible to play Red Dead Revolver? We don't make deals. I don't know. What? Welcome back, Teresa. How you doing? What can I say, partner? Where are you? But nah, the Red Dead Revolver story has no bearing on these two stories. Wouldn't be any real reason to do it outside of just morbid curiosity. Oh, dang. Oh, not cool, man. They already had her prepped to hang. Untie tie Bonnie, why not shoot her down first? Bonnie, are you okay? I'm fine now, Mr. Marston. Thank you. Thank you. What the hell took you so long, you stupid man? Well, you weren't exactly helping me. If you think I'm gonna lower myself by making a joke about being all tied up, you got another thing coming. Come on. <coughs> <laughs> Why are you looking at us, John? Was John just breaking the fourth wall? What the heck? He's like, what the heck, man? What the heck? I mean, outside of some random theories that Uncle might be um, Red Harlow, which I don't think he is, there's, I mean, the story, the story literally in Revolver has no bearing or relation to any of these games. Rockstar said it's not canon. At best, Harlow is a legend, like a legendary tale in this universe and nothing more. We've talked about this a lot throughout the streams. You can play Revolver on the PS5? Is that for real? I mean, I'm not going to go fish out my PS3 even if it had, like, backwards compatibility on it. But, yeah, it doesn't... It has no connection. So, there wouldn't be any reason to. Nah. Not at all. I, I played Red Dead Revolver back in the 90s. I don't need to I don't need to play it again. It would be it would be terrible by today's standards. It would be such a drudge to try to get through. Yeah. Look at the state of this place. Tumbleweed is not new and so hot anymore, is it? Tumbleweed was the go-to town in Red Dead Redemption 2. Favorite multiplayer character in Red Dead Redemption? I don't know what... I don't understand the question. 
Is this... Yeah, like, it was the other way around. Armadillo's now all fixed up and... and striving now. Tumbleweed is left to decay. I mean, if you're asking what my who my favorite character is in all of Red Dead Redemption, that's a tough call. I feel like it would have to be either. It's it's also a strange question to me. Anybody who says anything other than Arthur or John, that seems odd. But I don't know who I like better, John or Arthur. They're both really great characters, and I and I really really like both of the voice actors. Arthur probably has the better writing, but you know. Obviously, they had more time to evolve the writing and the character arc in Red Dead Redemption 2 than they did in this one. But having said that, I mean, I loved playing John in Red Dead Redemption 2 as well. I really, really enjoyed playing his part in the epilogue. Thank you, MP. Always a good friendly reminder to hit that like button if you haven't yet already. We might very much appreciate it. Subscribe, share, all the good things. Yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy walking around Tumbleweed again. It's so... <laughs> it's so in ruins. Now, I don't remember the sheriffs being this big. Was this door here and I just didn't realize how big the building was? I guess that's possible. Maybe they expanded. I did play uh, RDR1's multiplayer back in 2010. The online mode. I did not play it extensively. I remember just messing around. Going... Riding around with friends, getting the faster mounts, and just causing chaos. Alright, well, I don't know. Is there anything to find in Tumbleweed? Is there any th reason to look around extensively? Or should we head off? Oh. Well, you said Red Dead Redemption. But no. To answer your question, no. We're not going to go back to play Red Dead Revolver. We're, the only reason we're playing this one is because we wanted to continue the story. We wanted to continue. We wanted to go straight from ending with Red, you know, John Marston straight into continuing his story in this. But the going from the extremely well-refined gameplay mechanics of Red Dead Redemption 2 to this is already taking quite a getting used to. I don't I don't even want to try to go back to Red Dead Revolver. If we did go back to Red Dead Revolver, it would have to be a situation where we were doing it just for a, a goof and a laugh. Like, for a single stream. Ah, oh, shoot, we started an activity. Doggone it. <laughs> there, there really needs to be a button to activate these, not just walking up to them. Breaking a horse. You getting on or not, son? 
It is cheap. Red Dead Revolver is cheap enough that we could do it for a goof and a laugh on a single stream. Just to go and try it out. I guess it wasn't a 90s game. My gosh. It feels like a day and age ago. It was a 360 PlayStation title? Oh no, PS2 and Xbox. PS2 and Xbox. Yeah, that's crazy. So first gen Xbox and the PS2. Red Dead Revolver. That's crazy. It seems so long ago. I mean, I guess it was really long ago, wasn't it? Oh no! It failed me, I think. Come on. I can't take it over there now. Take your horse! I'm a that horse right there looks more like Zoe did. Zoe may have been a little bit darker brown. But this is our Zoe. This is our Zoe for Red Dead Redemption. The War Horse. Let's go. Speaking of kitty cats, since MP is here, I'm sure he'd love to take a look. He was snoring. Well, if I can get the camera to come up. Let's see. There we go. He's completely tuckered out here. He's not snoring anymore, but he's got his face completely wrapped up. He's trying to keep his nose warm. He's a good baby boy. He's a good baby boy. Thank you, Teresa. Have fun. Have fun. Yeah. Easy there. Run me off the road. We hell to pay. It's a trap. Thanks. 
<laughs> there she goes. It would have been funny if she started screaming, <laughs> like so many of the NPCs do. Night Gazer, welcome back. Glad you can join us tonight. What about their wagon? Can we take their wagon? I mean, is there any reason to take their wagon? <laughs> Can we sell it? Like in Red Dead Redemption 2? Riding in the wagons in this one is feels much, much more rough. That's all right, I gave you. We probably watched most of the important bits. The last significant thing that happened um, yesterday was they, the McFarlane's barn got set on fire by some, you know, gang members, bandits, helped rescue the horses, and then at the start of here, uh, Bonnie got kidnapped. And then we went and killed them all and freed Bonnie. Come on. That's about the only significant thing you've missed. Nothing, nothing about Abigail and Jack. And in fact, unless I've missed it, has he even said her name yet? He keeps... He's mentioned that he's got a wife. But I don't know if she's a, he's actually said her name at all in any of the conversations. Maybe he has. I don't know. But no. Like, presumably they're all still, you know, at Beecher's Hope. Basically, in this game, the story is just... Um, Pinkerton's recruited him... And he's now come out west. And so he's... He's just away from home right now. We haven't tried going out to Beecher's Hope. I don't know what would happen even if we did try yet. What happened? <laughs> You okay, lady? My husband's missing. These bastards won't do anything. But he's a good man. He don't drink nor lay with whores. And he's been, he's been missing for three days. Let me guess. You went missing up in the hills? How did you know, mister? Just a guess. If I find him, I'll bring him back to you. But people seem to go missing up there. Is it going to be the He's exact same spot? With the exact We've same blood? Money, and I'm in the family way again. As I said, I'll do what I can. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to turn off the Milo cam. As cute as he is, he's also just kind of passed out and doing nothing. He's a good boy. Let's go investigate. Same spot again. Come on. 
He, not, not a new daughter, Nightgazer. They, they haven't had another baby. That would be my first assumption if I had heard someone just say that randomly. No, he, he brings up having had a daughter that, that died a long time ago. I don't know if that was a brain fart when uh, doing Red Dead Redemption 2, because I don't think they mention his daughter in Red Dead Redemption 2 at all. I mean, even if they had like a small scene where like they might have briefly touched on it, but didn't immediately spell it out, I don't even think that happened in the game. So I don't know why they decided not to like mention it at all. But, yeah. No, I, I'm pretty... No, no, it was... I'm pretty sure it was Abigail and his daughter before Jack. Or was it after Jack? Please help me. I've been attacked. It might have been after Jack. Some city fella just attacked me and broke my leg. What? He broke my leg. Some city fella. Guy got kind of creepy on me. And then he got violent. When? Just now. Uh, he ran off that way. Can't have gone too far. If I find him, I'll bring him back this way. Thank you, mister. Hmm. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Now that I'm saying it, I don't know when the the daughter was born. Can somebody look this up? Was was the daughter born in between this game and Red Dead Redemption 2's events? Or was she born before Red Dead Redemption 2's events? I guess there's no way to know for sure. They don't mention it. If she if she was supposed to be born between Red Dead Redemption 2's events and this game's events, and possibly maybe died in childbirth, then that might explain why she wasn't mentioned. In in I guess that's the only thing we can go on. Yeah. Right. But we knew that. It, it would be unusual. I guess it would make more sense if she was born and died in between Red, Red, Red Dead Redemption 2's epilogue Damnation. and this game's. Oh, shoot. I wasn't paying attention. I was too busy pondering on this. Oh, shoot. <laughs> yeah, let's just go back. We'll go back. Restart it. Here, let's just see. Let's see if there's a wiki entry for the daughter. I'm assuming MP's already looking it up, but I'll go ahead and look it up since we're going back anyways.
Let's see. John Marston's daughter, Wiki. Okay, so according to the wiki, which of course, I don't know if this is going to be a spoiler for later on in the game. If it if it is, I'm sure it's not a big one. Okay. Daughter deceased of John Marston and Abigail. According to this, just is Jack Marston's younger sister. But what we heard didn't seem to indicate an age, right? It says little is known about her outside of the dialogue in Red Dead Redemption. It asserts that she died years after John's time in the gang. Okay. All right. So if it's if 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 that is what it indicates that she was born after his time in the gang, then that means sh she did die possibly in childbirth in between the events of the epilogue in this game, which would explain why they never mentioned her in Red Dead Redemption 2. So that's sad. So that means they had another... They At least if, if this is true, then that means they had another baby in between the epilogue and now, and unfortunately it, it died. It does, there doesn't appear to be any more information about it other than that. Just outside of the brief bits that it's mentioned in some uh, dialogue in this game. Yeah, it says her first name is never mentioned at any point and is unknown. Yeah, and we haven't gotten all the dialogue. According to this, she's she's brought up again later on in the game. And we haven't gotten it yet. But But yeah, that's super sad. Oh shoot, did it auto save after we failed it? Oh no, it auto saved after we took it on. That's even more of a convenient auto save. After getting to know the Marston family so well in Red Dead Redemption 2, it feels kind of jarring, doesn't it, to find out that they had another baby after what we played with them. And then we don't even get to learn what her name was. All right, let's try to do this this time. I'll try not to get distracted. not sure how unless they do a sequel that takes place after this after these events that's the only way uh, oh, uh, oh, mister mister some city fella just attacked me and broke my leg what he broke my leg some city fella guy got gun. okay yeah we heard all that Catch the assailant, bring him back to the injured man. Oh, he's even on foot, too. We let him get away. <laughs> You're all crazy! Uh. I don't know. I don't recall. Oh. 
this is a nightmare. <laughs> hmm. We're not. <laughs> Don't take me back to that man. Wait, catch the sailor and bring him back to the injured man. Please. Are we bringing a victim back to an assailant who's trying to trick us? This guy sounds genuinely scared. Bring him here. Can we question him? Okay. Oh my good lord! Please get that man away from me! Uh, uh. Hey, fella! <laughs> you broke this oh, no. poor fool's oh, leg, mister! Uh, this maniac tried to eat me! <laughs> We've got cannibals in these! Is Here, that really hills. what? Please help like John me. supposed Please. to be Fella's confused? Now. Fella's got to eat! <laughs> <laughs> Save me from this freak, please! Please! <laughs> what? <laughs> John's like, eh, it's not my business. You can either leave the man to his grisly fate or kill the cannibal. <laughs> oh, you mean like bananas or. I don't I don't want any strawberries. Don't make me kill you now. I mean if you bring some out here I'll I'll eat a couple I guess. Alright, well, that was crazy. But we killed the cannibal, apparently. Come on. And then his body disappeared, which is cool. Oh, did oh my gosh the guy we just freed got eaten by wolves what <laughs> we saved him from a cannibal just for him to get eaten by wolves what the heck let's see what he has on him Hey, Jen. Welcome back. Happy Tuesday. Uh, I don't know how to feel about this ending. <laughs> of, this, of this stranger mission we just did. New weaponry is available. Should we check it out? Who's firing over here? He hunting coyotes? He is hunting coyotes. Should we help him? Go on. It's alright. Don't mention it. Oh. I'm confused. Was he chasing a coyote off? Or was he wanting to hunt it? Okay, he was hunting it. That's Let's fine. Go. Go. <laughs> he said thanks. That's good. Should we check out the new gun? Let's go see what it is. Yeah. So there is some darkness you can do to this. I mean, I'm seeing that we have the, obviously, we have the honor system again. I didn't know how drastically different it would be to play between the two. Especially since it doesn't seem like we're getting much choices when it comes to dialogue. But that was pretty dang dark that we were able to give that guy back to the cannibal and let him eat him if we wanted to. Hey. Oh, shoot. I'm sorry. Oh, no. Ah, doggone it. I'm still not used to the fact that we can't focus on in this game. It just instantly draws your gun.
When was our last auto save? Am I gonna have to go sleep so I can go to the shop? Mm, three minutes ago? Eh, screw it. We'll just save. Hopefully he'll be back after we sleep. Watch yourself there. Oh, really? The dark ones? I still think I like them better when they're thawed. Yeah. yeah. Cleo just gave me chocolate covered banana slices. Which I normally like chocolate covered banana slices, but these have like peanut butter in them too. I don't know if I like the peanut butter, but I I normally really like chocolate covered bananas. Yes. The question is now, is it late and he's going to be closed? No, it says he's still open. See, I'm going to get the I'm going to get used to the controls in this game. And then I have to I'm going to have to relearn Red Dead Redemption 2s as well. Okay, so he has a double barrel shotgun, a volcanic pistol. Uh I mean, we could buy them. They're only 50 and 75. We can also get the bandolier. I'm assuming as soon as we buy the bandolier, it's going to be permanently attached to us. And I don't know... I don't know. How does the bandolier look in this game? Yeah, it looks fine. It looks pretty good in this in this game. Maybe we'll go ahead and get it. Rockstar kind of effed up the model for the bandolier in Red Dead Redemption 2. It only looks good with big coats. They never they never bothered fixing it. I'm thinking that were mutually beneficial. Anything that meets my strict standards. That's what I need. Remember to return. Howdy. Howdy. Okay, so we actually have the separate entry for the shotgun now. That's cool. Volcanic pistol. More power. Less range. It's basically just ha has more power and more ammo capacity. Eh. That's making me feel like we might as well just stick with the cattleman. Red Dead Online did not make them the buttloads of cash it was hoping. That they were hoping for. Let's see. Okay, it's just turning the corner here. 10 o'clock. I was pondering whether or not to do that that bounty, but let's go check what this stranger mission is first. There's a movie theater. Maybe we'll finally watch MP's movie that he's been wanting us to see. Maybe it's been in this game the whole time. Why, thank you. Could you imagine? What a crazy-ass coincidence would it be.
this it, MP? Is this the movie you were wanting us to see? What? You adopted affliction, sir. Ninety-nine <laughs> percent cocaine. Yeah. Oh my gosh! What is happening? He got he got all those worms out. The lady still don't want him. Oh, what what the heck? Nobody's responding in the audience. Contains 99 percent lot of them. What? No, <laughs> it's terrible. Dude. Oh my gosh. Speaking of ghosts. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, ghost, welcome back. Blondie, thank you. Welcome. Happy Tuesday, guys. Um, you're asking who I pre would prefer more? Sadie Sadler or Bonnie McFarlane? Neither. I, I prefer brunettes, and they're both blondes. No offense, Blondie. <laughs> I mean, if you're asking who I prefer as a character in the game, a uh, Sadie, 100%. Sadie's such a better character than 
The money is. Sadie's a freaking badass. What's happening here? Where can he be? Everything all right, madam? It's Miss. Oh. oh. Let me look at you. My gentleman caller. You remind me of my Peter. Have you seen him? I don't think so. Where is that man? We'll be late for the ceremony. He must still be at the saloon in Armadillo, talking to the musicians. He's such a fine man. Must be making things right for me, as usual. Well, I gotta get going, ma'am. I'm sure your Peter will be just fine. Wait, I beg you. Would you possibly go fetch him for me? This was meant to be my perfect day. Please, sir. Something must have happened. I can't bear it. So you want me to go find your Peter so you can have a perfect day? Yes. Please, sir. <laughs> I'll see what I can do. Oh. Good old friendly John. Well, yeah, she's clearly insane. She's standing outside of a completely destroyed house, talking about the guests arriving soon. Cav, hello, welcome back. I have no idea what you were trying to ask me. Outside of why is there a grandma? Why is there a grandma? And why is there a grandpa? Why are there grandparents anywhere? How do you know? I think we finally saw MP's movie, though. It did end with a ghost. That must have been the explanation for the whispers in the woods. We finally saw your movie, MP. It all makes sense now. I guess we should have just killed him. Everybody's freaking out. Now that we touch. Did that guy just phase through the wall? <laughs> Who are you, sir? Alright, we're just gonna leave him here. I was wondering if maybe we could bring him to the sheriff. But, I don't care. Let's go question about Peter. You're asking if I'm trying to do a mission? I mean, yeah, I guess. I'm doing this mission right now. Just so you know, I don't take requests, mister. I'm looking for a man. Name's Peter. Fellas meant to get married today. Seen him around? Who? Peter, is what she said. You ain't after no Pete Turner, are you? For all I know, where can I find him? Well, my memory escapes me when not properly stimulated. Well, let's see if we can refresh it. Five dollars will do. Or you could run a little errand for me. What do you need done? It's my wife. She packed her things this morning and left me. <laughs> the dumb wince is still at the freight station waiting what for the stage. What is happening? If you could 
convince her to take me back. What? Her name's Rose. Okay. Right, so have a talk with her. Now, now we're gonna go to Rose, and she's gonna ask for a bitch. favor to do something else somewhere else. <laughs> I like the idea that we can convince. We can either pay him do five dollars or convince. Yeah. I never see that. Excuse me, Miss or er, Rose. If that useless whoremongering bastard sent you, get lost. <laughs> Miss, please. If only. You know what? Tell that bastard I ain't going back not this time not even at gunpoint you sign an oath miss for better or worse way I see it you should give him one last chance stop bothering me you dumb cowpoke or I'll call the marshal all right <laughs> I'll tie our threaten rose what Let's just go pay him five dollars. What the hell is happening here? Whiskey! Hello, welcome back. Happy Tuesday. He did. She did. How you do? Why don't you and me sit here? This might loosen your tongue. Truth is, Pete Turner ain't been an armadillo for near on 20 years now. Kind of a queer fella and all. Wasn't here every night. Sure as the moon in the sky. What happened to him? Well, what happens to all of us? I reckon you'll find him at Odd Fella's Rest. Yeah. That's where yeah. he'd be, I'd guess. Uh, I swear he's gonna be a breeze. Why don't you say that on now, mister? I told you all I know. I Why do I got a skedaddle? We're in a bar. Let me have a drink. Not, not to mention I live here. <laughs> My bed is upstairs. It's only just now after midnight? You were nice to us. Okay. Gonna head directly west. This is not a remake. I wish it was a remake. That'd be great. It's just a re-release. This graveyard looks unchanged. I'd be I'm very curious if it's got the same stuff written on the graves though. Should see the other fella. Rest in peace, my love. <laughs> Wait, what does it say? Now we will both get some?
She lived each day as if it was her last, especially this one. We did read that on one of the graves. Second fastest draw in New Austin. Byron Rickers. That was definitely in the, the other game. Here lies my third husband. Fourth time lucky. Yeah, we got... A lot of these graves are, in fact, in Red Dead Redemption 2. Because we looked at all of them. If you are reading this, I must be dead. I guess it was more than a bad cough. Yeah. I don't think there's ever been a doubt that we wouldn't get Red Dead Redemption 3. <laughs> Who asked that yesterday, too? Didn't somebody ask yesterday, do you think there's going to be a Red Dead Redemption 3? I was like, yeah, like 100%. <laughs> Absolutely, there's going to be. He always picked the wrong fight. All right, let's go look at the... The one grave. Not all of them are the same. That would make sense. He will never dance with another. Betrothed to Miss Alma Horlick. Killed by the a blow to the head. Back in 1894. It's been a very, very long time. Colton leaving. <laughs> what? <laughs> MP, why are you saying goodbye? Are you thinking he's gonna die tonight? It's like I better say my goodbyes now. I mean, they do rhyme. I'm gonna be bed by RDR3. And that's all. That's all how MP3 took it. <laughs> I don't know what I, anymore. <laughs> uh, hopefully, Colton will not be dead by tonight. I mean, if he was, then yeah, what he said was true. He will be dead before Red Dead Redemption 3 drops. Come on. Let's What's go. happening over here? Hey, fellas. What you got there? Oh, you're stealing stuff. Crap! You let that guy die again. I didn't see him until it was too late. Thanks for saving my life. Oh, Take what? You want from my chest. What do we do? do? Cause him to I'll miss? That's my good deed for the day. <laughs> I thought he got shot in the head. That's crazy. Maybe he did. Sorry about this, partner. I mean, we can't tell her that, that he's dead. She won't understand. She obviously experienced his death, and now she's gone wacky tabacky. But she should probably find a better place to chill out at.
Wait, where was her house? Wasn't it right here? Shoot. Were we supposed to go somewhere else? Or is that the end of the mission? That was the end of it? Just finding out where he was? She's gone. <laughs> she's... The fire's still burning here, but she's gone. Where is Seth? Oh, look, there he is. Excuse me, are you Seth? Who are you? I'm a friend of Mr. Wes Dickens. My name is Marston. John Marston. Goodbye, John Marston. It's been a great pleasure. <laughs> I need your help, Seth. We need your help. Me and Mr. West Dickens. Let me be frank for one second, partner. I hate people. It was people who got me in this mess in the first place. What mess? <laughs> Look at me. Look, scrambling around, looking for maps, half insane. I ain't washed in six months. My hair falling out, my mind's going. <laughs> what happened? What happened? My partner. He stole half my map. I never would have done that to him. Never. Look at me. Who did this to you? My partner. My boy, my man. Moses Ford. I don't have the facility to tell you what I would have done for that man. And what I would do to him now. Why? because he stole half my goddamn map. And what map's that, then? The map, partner. The map that tells me where it is. Where what is, friend? I ain't telling you that. I ain't. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make me tell, partner. <laughs> it's mine. It's mine. All mine. <laughs> sure. And where's this Moses now? He's at Benedict Point. The law got him for exhuming. Some people, they feel differently. Not Moses. Him and me are the same. The self same. Well, come on, come Seth. Come on, Seth. <laughs> Let's go see Moses. Get you your map back. Yeah, Night Maybe Gazer. It's, it's the same guy. Can't tell? He's got a pretty distinct voice. Let's go. Cab, did you ask why a man who was in the middle of digging up a grave on, and rummaging man, around in a dead body, why he looked dirty? <laughs> I, think, I think it's pretty <laughs> self-explanatory. Let's go. At least he's going How fast. Can you sink that low? Digging up graves and looting from the dead. Ha, hypocrites! The whole damn lot of you. Are you saying it's better to steal from the living? They're corpses. They don't care none. These people have been laid to rest. You don't know nothing. I talk to them long after they've been forgotten by every other fellow. I tell them it's all right to be scared and alone. I embrace them when they're stinking and rotten. I met some sick bastards in my time, Seth. But you? You're special. Folk is cold and heartless all their lives. To me, they gets warmer when they're actually cold and heartless. Surely that makes sense to even you. Not exactly, it don't. Are we really living anyway? Do you exist outside my mind? Maybe we're hmm. both having the same <laughs> dream, and when we wake up, we'll die. I certainly seem to be in some kind of nightmare. Night Gazer, take out your earplugs. How many times have I told you you cannot watch the stream while you have earplugs in? Have you looked in the cave, Seth? <laughs> it's very dark. What'd you say? I, I didn't say nothing. I just heard you say something. You're a crazy man. You should get that head looked at. Seth, I need someone who can get a wagon inside Fort Mercer. I was told you could help me, but I'm not sure you even know what day it is. I don't. I can't even tell you what year it is. I knew this was a waste of time. So... You want to go after Bill Williamson, do you? You know Bill? Oh, yes. I met Williamson and Deke 
All them boys. Sometimes they call me on when they get some special job needs doing. I got a reputation as a man who'll do things most other fellers won't. Now that I can believe. I reckon you can get in there, no bother. Assuming you help me find this map, that is. What's so important about this map? Nothing much. Just unimaginable riches and such like. A spark of hope that lit a rage and fire I can't put out. I thought as much. Another treasure hunter losing everything in the search for nothing. Oh, I lost it all, partner. My wife, my children, my business. Good riddance to them all. I don't eat, I don't sleep, I don't wash, and I don't care. I know. I can smell you from here. It used to be about the money, but now... I don't know who I am no more. I see myself, but it's like I'm looking at somebody else. Only it's me, you know? Maybe it's time you moved on. No way I can stop now. It's taking me over. Benedict <laughs> Point. No difference between night and day. Man, I love how well they recreated this map in the new engine. Again, it's just... It's all the more such a damn shame they didn't remake this game. When they spent so much time remaking the original map. Come on. If this All is right. the same map I found it. last time, <laughs> it's plan. gone. I found it years ago. As far as I know, Moses is being held in that shack. There's a couple of deputies keeping guard outside. Can you distract him so I can sneak in for a quick parlay with that son of a bitch? I'm sure I can think of something. Good luck, Colton. I'm sure you'll be fine. Sleep well. Leave them away from the shack and out of sight. Somewhere out past that hill. This is one god awful assignment. I know. This place is deader than a side of You clearly don't like me much! Whoops. Oh, crap. Oh, the other guy didn't take off. Oh, there he goes. Well, I like this system a lot better. As long as you're out of sight, you start losing your wanted. Come on, come on. Come on. Just got a twenty dollar bounty on her head for stealing a lawman's horse. Here we go. Just a scratch. Do you see how smooth that was? Best we deal with this now, mister. Well, this place has changed. Good job getting rid of them clowns. Now keep an eye out in case they come back. Moses? Oh, Moses? You got a visitor. Oh, my God, Seth. They arrested me. It weren't my fault. Ah! <laughs> Get the hell away from me! <laughs> what? Get that slippery bastard. I need him alive, though. Leave me alone. He ran away <laughs> with his hands straight up in the air like a Muppet. Go, I'm begging you. 
That is true, Kevin. You that is what stupid happened. Stupid trust in that crazy <laughs> bastard. Seth lost his mind a long time ago. I like the way we run while holding someone on our back. It's like Who it's just a cute are, little scurry. What's he paying you? I'll give you double. You son of a bitch! <laughs> Did you think I would find you, Moses? Moses, you son of a bitch! Where's my damn map? Damn you, Seth! Damn you, Seth! You've always been a twisty little freak! I ain't telling you shit! <laughs> ah, then I'll uh, cut you up piece by piece! <laughs> Till you find your tongue. Friend, this man's uh, gone crazy uh, in the sun. Uh, I suggest you take my advice and start talking. Shut up, Marston! <laughs> I want to cut into a bona fide man's flesh. Ain't never cut into a live one before. Uh, 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 odd, odd fellow's rest. It, it, it's an odd fellow's rest. Now, get away from me once and for all. Well, ain't that a damn shame. I was starting to enjoy myself. I think you gone pissed yourself, Moses. No. Uh -huh. <laughs> he looks so sad. Those deputies went and put a bounty on your head. Best we clear it now. Don't need the law on our backs. I don't have no money, but I got me a pardon letter. Here, take it. You earned it for helping me with the Moses. A pardon letter? I don't want to save that for something bigger. Ah! Ah! Come on, ain't no time to be wasting. So it's still the post here. Hello there. That crazy Mary swears she's seen treasures in the tumbleweed mansion basement. Yeah, we'll save the part and let her if we don't have to give it. Here, we take twenty bucks. For a quiet life. Go this on, man, you can clear it up the desk. Don't do nothing foolish now. So, mister, thanks for your help. Don't worry yourself with thanks, Seth. Just help me when I come ask it. No problem, mister. <laughs> Why did he say it like that? Hey -ya! There's a stranger mission here, too. Who's this? A wonderful, marvelous. My, my, take a look at you. When you take a look at you, you look like you've seen trouble, mister. Enough for a hundred men. Trouble has a way of finding I've seen trouble. Do I like the sound of that? Do I ever like the sound of that? Trouble with a capital T. That's just capital. T-R-O-U-B-L-E. Cold, tough, but with a heart of gold. The cowboy sings his lonely song like, like a dog whose bone is made of wood. Excuse me? Oh, nothing. I, I was just writing my next piece. I've been sent out here nah, it's a different to provide a little frontier joie de vie for the ladies back east. I don't understand a word you're saying, mister. Yeah, my ma felt the same way. And now she wrote me out of her will, and there's no hope for any of us. <laughs> uh, Jimmy Saint, sir, at your disposal. But uh, please don't dispose of me just yet. <laughs> what are you doing out here, Jimmy? Capturing the spirit of the West for a monthly back East. You know, I'm uh, sending them my oh-so-witty and oh-so-pertinent missives and gaining myself a little prize in the bargain. So it's action I'm after, and action I'm gonna find, too. <laughs> Wild men, cheap women, you know, guns, that sort of thing. Okay. <laughs> well, you have fun. Fun? <laughs> I'm gonna have the time of my life, sport. I tell you, mister, the time of my little old life. <laughs> 
Funny yeah, man yeah. journal entry added. Funny man. I can take you all over. No, thank you. All right, so we got another Nigel West Dickens mission to do. He's still up here. Is there a dog following me? Not totally clear on why we help some of the people we help in this game. Just something to do. We bide our time until we can take Bill down. No! Oh my gosh, game, I will kill you! This steed looks right fetchy. I don't mind Is it me or did that yellow X pop up right in front of us, too? And of course it's like right in the middle of the road too. Did we just hear a gong? Mighty impressive, son. Good job. Gong. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks for the six bucks. Well, that was worth taking that time to do. Zoe, where are you going? Walm's gang outfit menu entry updated. What? Where did he come from? He just he just popped into existence too. Look, skip to destination. I'm assuming that means we have no conversation to be had. Seth is an interesting fellow, is he not? Oh, no, there is. Say interesting. More deeply disturbed. I can see why you two get along. I see the good in everybody, John. It's a flaw of mine. I have a soft spot. All right, goes. Good night, Kevin. Good night. Some. Take it easy. With them more like you and Seth have a lot in common. You both rob people for one. Mind you, at least he waits until they're dead. Ah, oh, my dear boy. Nobody is more critical of drinkers than a drunk who's mended his ways. What are you talking about? Come on now, John. I've heard about you. You spent your life robbing people. It's a little inappropriate to be taking the moral high ground now. I had the courtesy to put a gun in their face. Whatever helps you sleep easily at night. We stole from those who had too much. We tried to give to those who had too little. A Robin Hood with spurs. Oh, romantic. You expect me to believe that poppycock? Maybe I'll have the good fortune to be able to leave my nefarious life behind one day and work on the government's dime. Don't talk about things you don't understand. Dear, oh dear, simmer down, my boy. <laughs> you need to start appreciating your friends more. Folks around here don't see you as any different from Bill Williamson. I didn't think I'd have to huckster snake oil and dig up the dead, that's all. Take it from me, John. Elaboration is the key to success. I can help you. Seth can help you. It's business. Nothing more, nothing less. There's no right. need to make it quite so personal. You so say me. so. The 
this is how I wish all the the rides, even when we're on our own horseback. And they obviously thought about it in the production of Red Dead Redemption 2 that they added the cinematic mode. Because, yeah, this would be nice. All of the horse rides in this game should have this mode going on. The skip to destination part is great, though. Where was that in Red Dead Redemption 2? Assuming the conversation's over, of course. But that's definitely missing from Red Dead, Red, Dead, Red Dead Redemption 2, allowing you to skip dialogue on rides. Especially if we're having to redo missions over again. It'd be nice to be able to skip the rides. So that's a little strange that it's absent. That's our new Zoe following us. She's going to have to wait behind. Out of the way! Shooting other racers or spectators will cause you to be disqualified. Oh, thanks. <laughs> I wasn't going to try. Not unless the other ones tried to shoot me. would have been uh, you can roll down move your cart backwards why are you telling me this in the middle of a race game that's a tip that can be given to me when I'm just casually riding in a wagon but yeah I, I, the only real racing that's in uh, Red Dead Redemption 2 is the random race that other a single horseback rider will challenge you to if they had like actual horse races that'd be fun or even a wagon race like this with the with the new physics I don't know though I like racing games so I can picture other people saying they're glad that racing wasn't in the sequel make it optional maybe But if they had races like this in Red Dead Redemption 2, I definitely would have done them. We missed that. Just Falling rocks and homicidal maniacs? Not the friendliest bunch, are they? They take the racing very seriously in these parts, and your participation was not entirely pre-approved. That was clear. Ah, sport, war, and heartache. <laughs> the guilty pleasures of mankind since the dawn of time. I get away from the men we just swindled before you start waxing too lyrical. Yes, yes, of course. Let me 
skip again? It's not letting us skip anymore. Is this where we're going? Yes. Well done, sir. Well done. Having you as a ringer has netted us a fine profit. <laughs> we seem to be wasting time, old man. Oh, patience, my friend. The Trojan horse cannot run before it can walk, if you'll forgive the metaphor. Mm -hmm. Next, we need to procure some grand and overwhelming firepower. And for that, you need to contact an old friend of mine. Goes by the name of Irish. Irish. Yes, uh, he's an interesting kind of fellow. Um, he usually can be found in uh, Armadillo or some other town around here on some Bacchanalian revel or such. <laughs> Great. An alcoholic arms dealer. What could be better? Is Irish going to be Irish? I kind of hope not. I kind of secretly want him to be like, I don't know, Italian or something. Hey, remember me? How do you do? Come on. Okay, so we can't actually visit Irish right now, but we can. The next Nigel West Dickens mission is right next to us. Oh, the next Seth mission is too. Eh, screw it. Let's just go do West. Wes Diggins, because he's right there. I mean, he told me to go see Irish. I feel like it would have made sense to go see Irish first. But if we can do his next one without him. Meet the sheriff near the rock. What? I guess we're not gonna do West <laughs> Natural West Dickens mission. So if we're returning this to Armadillo, we might as well do Irish's mission next. Why would he just entrust this to us? I thought it was gonna be like a somebody we knew, but he was acting like he didn't know us. company. Oh! <laughs> that horse come from? I'm starting to have PTSD of uh, looking for Rio Grande turkeys. Getting flashbacks. Looking for that turkey at every corner of this this horrible land.
trying to find that turkey soured the landscape for me. Kill like an innocent guy? Shoot. We lost 50 honor. We must have killed just some random dude that was on the road at the same time. That's unfortunate. Any honor we gain from this is just going to be recovering the honor we just lost for killing a random dude. really weird how often we went up there I mean we went up there multiple nights didn't we we couldn't get it to trigger but the moment I went up there to get the squirrel the UFO showed up it was just literally right in front of me as I rode up the mountain and it was bobbing up and down in the sky I tried to get a screenshot close to it but it's really far away I couldn't get too close, and and not to mention it was too bright. Anytime I got too close, the bloom would overpower it. Oh shoot! Wait a minute. I gotta park it there. Gosh. <laughs> all right calm down it's all right Solomon's folly complete excellent I actually don't know if we got any honor for that oh we did we got 200 so we actually got we got 200 honor so we technically got 150 for killing that poor bastard howdy Alright, where is this guy at? Actually, let's save before we hit him up. Slow it down, will you? I would have mm. What outfit did it say it was updated? Got a savvy merchant. We already knew about that. Something updated. What was it? Oh, look at that. One of the <laughs> one of the uh, options was kill the legendary jackalope. I'm glad we killed it. I only killed it because I was I figured that would be how we figured out the name because I was blanking on the name. Mm, no, we just started this game. Can you play Undead Nightmare before you play this game? I figured it made sense to save that for after we beat the game. I didn't even see an option to start Undead Nightmare at the beginning. Or, or is it the difficulty level? Is that what we were seeing at the beginning? That would make sense. Yeah, 
Yeah, doesn't have doesn't Undead Nightmare have like tons of characters from the main game? It'd be really weird to play that first. Oops. Sorry, sir. You messed up properly this time, didn't you? You little paddy bastard. You thieving Nick cunt. You got it all wrong, Welsh. All wrong. It was French, I promise. He said he was going to rip you off. Now he's ripping me off. Yeah, keep on talking there, Irish. In about 15 more seconds, you I think Irish is Irish. <laughs> What's up, boys? <sighs> Fuck off, boy. This don't concern you. When a man with a sing-song voice tells me to fuck off, it always concerns me, boyo. Look here. This petty bastard stole our guns. Tried to steal our horses. Lost clear on the matter. Oh, I never stole nothing, sir. Never did. Not in all my life. That French cunt is playing with the Welshman's tiny and ineffective mind. Push your mind. <laughs> anyway, you all got horses now. No one needs to die. Leave him be. Who do you think you are, boyo? The bloody cavalry? Your voice is really starting to get on my nerves, <laughs> boyo. <laughs> and you're getting on my nerves. Yeah. Ain't nobody speaks to me like that. Gosh. It's so fast. <laughs> a Mr. Nigel West Dickens said you'd help me locate a machine gun. And since I just saved your life. Oh, I can't thank you enough for taking care of those two degenerates. Uh, untrustworthy. Poor in personal hygiene, lacking in the finer qualities of a, a gentleman. <laughs> uh, what about the gun? It'd be my pleasure. Uh, she's magnificent government issue. It'll be a bit of a ride, but we'll get there soon enough. Uh, follow me, fella. So many people have asked me who would win in a fight, Arthur or John, and I never <laughs> knew how to logically answer that question, but honestly... <laughs> After experiencing the dead eye in this game, I would say John. <laughs> the dead eye in this game is so insanely fast. John, John Marston, you don't seem too upset about your friends getting killed. Nice to talk for Rick Red. And I don't grow them fools. Their blood was getting increasingly unreliable. I was the brains of the operation, as you can imagine. Yeah. It looked like you had everything perfectly under control back there. I'm the sure you did. Many people have. So where's this gun of yours? That's what we're about to find out. Pal Wes Dickens told me you had a machine gun. I did. That was part of the disagreement you witnessed back there. Them double-crossing bastards lifted it from me. It looked to me like they were the ones with the feet. Not far now. The thieving bastards are holed up at the cabin by the lake. Can't wait to see the look on their faces when we blast in there. They'll be more surprised than a slut dog with their first porcupine. You best not yes. be lying to me. Listen, fella. I didn't ask for your help back there. I don't owe you nothing. I'll decide what you do and don't owe me. I've had enough of your overly aggressive manner, fella. You don't know who you're dealing with here. Irish, I've met enough men like you to last me a lifetime. fellas if they give you trouble. Go and store it just inside that chest. What about you helping me out? Yeah. Uh, I'll cover <laughs> you from the rage. I'm better from long range. It'll be a piece of cake, fella. Trust me. It'll be a piece of cake. What, <laughs> John? <laughs> I take it that. Oh, let's loot. Let's loot. Forgive me, friend.
Ah, get out of the way. Go! I did not see you. Because you were inside this building. It's not here. That lion sack of shit. So we're going to do a Trojan and have a minigun. Is that where this is all going to be leading to? I gotta go talk to him to find out what the dealio was. He just left us here. Where are we? Um. Yeah, I feel like we need to immediately follow up with Irish. That would make most sense after that. But if we're talking about <laughs> logistics with the game, it makes more sense to go to Seth here. Yeah, let's go catch up with let's Seth. Go. Since we're here. Back robbing another grave. Is that where we're meeting him back at the graveyard, aren't we? Wasted a bunch of time looking for that last bit of map. And I got to thinking, Moses was a liar. And I imagined myself doing all kinds of unpleasant things to his corpse. <laughs> and then I realized. You realized you were sick in the head? That you needed to move on with your own limited time on Earth? No, partner. I realized Moses were no liar. The issue was Aiden O'Leary. Who said he had the body? Aiden died in that flu epidemic, and the bodies weren't even buried yet. You got the body sitting in the back of that wagon behind you? Yes, sir. You're not even gonna wait until they're buried before you. <laughs> well, they don't care, <laughs> do you, boys? <laughs> Honest folk, off to a better place. Apart from that Aiden O'Leary fella, I never liked him. They say he lay with his sister. I don't like women, partner. I don't. Not since Mammy died. Seth, what are you going to do with those bodies? I'm going to take them back to a nice quiet spot and look for the map. I need the map, partner. I need it. Come on! Loitering with the pile of dead bodies ain't exactly the best idea. Can't wait to get my hands on these. Find some place quiet near Tumbleweed. I got a feeling the treasure's around there somewhere. Seth is crazy. I bet the voice actor who played him had a lot of fun, He's though. To the left. We don't want to roll through town with these bodies. What did you say? I didn't say nothing. Are you talking to them? So what if I am? I feel less alone with them than in a crowd of people. The way I see it, they lost their souls, just like me. You're truly a sick man, Seth. You remind no, me of No, train. For a man who kills so much, you sure Can we get it past it? Come on. I thought we they were going to so intersect with it. All right, Seth. Calm down. You talk to the corpses and I'll drive the wagon. They're coming after us! Get us out of here! Oh no, I'm not again. Back here. You try to take those damn red men. Whoa! I'll be over soon. There's some bullets on it. Better than a 
another one. Inside that place. After I find my treasure, mister. I would be curious to stick around and find out if it was me. Oh. Tyson me with new weapons. Oh, we can actually go f straight into Seth's next mission. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah. Oh, it's like that, is it? Huh? Not talking to Seth today? Oh, the old silent treatment. Oh, whoa. Ah, that's quite a stench. Hey, Seth. Oh. Oh. Seth, come back here. Oh, hey, partner. I was just looking for you. Looking for me, what? Over there? How you doing? I'm good. Well, uh, see you later, partner. Where you going, partner? What? Nowhere. <laughs> okay. Nowhere wouldn't happen to be where that thing you're looking for is kept, would it? No, sir. <laughs> no, sir. Come on, partner. <laughs> okay, I was just uh, fooling. <laughs> partner, uh, you know, the thought of that treasure does funny things to me. According to the map, it's somewhere in that big abandoned house. Oh, the giant manor up there? We couldn't get in there. <laughs> in Red Dead Redemption 2. Although, I didn't really try. I didn't try hard. I talked to the people outside of it.
Not I discovered the treasure down. hunter outfit? Where did I discover it at? <laughs> it's locked. Let's try around the back. What? Go on. <laughs> I we don't think I heard that. Here we go. <laughs> Come on, Seth. Pandemonium! <laughs> what the hell? Look out! He's in charge! You really started to get my gun. Damn. <laughs> sure is a lot of them. What that meant to be? Maybe. Are you gonna shoot somebody? Where is he? Oh, there's stairs here. We went right around it. What's Don't funny? Let him get my treasure, mister. I see a guy right here. Kill them all, mister. Whoa, that's a big guy. more I'll set you all down oh my, oh my. don't leave any alive Don't try to be something you're not! Whoa! Oh, oh, I can't aim! That's it, partner! Move! Think you can just walk in here? I doubt you'll be needing this. Yeah, what's the deal with that? If I'm stuck up against a wall like this... I'm oh, starting the game now. Is there more? Where are. Oh, shoot. Right there. Yahoo! <laughs> Finally, I see the light at the end of this very long, long tunnel. There's not going to be anything <laughs> in there, is there? After all these years. <laughs> it's silk sheets and Parisian whores from now on, mister. <laughs> God damn hell is this? A glass eye. <laughs> I'm sure whoever that belonged to treasured it very much. <laughs> Those stupid liars. Those stupid chicken shit maps. Making a damn fool of me. A glass eye. <laughs> it's a glass eye. <laughs> Stop with the tears and help me with Williamson's gang. <laughs> you can come up with another excuse to go exhume one of your old friends. And dead man's treasure ain't done me no favors. Sure. Sure. I'm ready for the living. I'll see you and Mr. West Dickens over at Fort Mercer when you gentlemen is ready. All right. <laughs>
At least I got a meat bag up with Irish. We got some bait. Bait? It's like, like bait for drawing in animals? Or is it bait for fishing? Is there anything to pick up down here? I want to look at the... I want to look at the treasure hunter outfit. How do I get out of here? I said we discovered it. I don't know how. Did we walk over it? Did we pick it up? Did we take it from someone? Where did we get the treasure hunter outfit? Irish is next. Can I change my outfit at a campsite? I'm guessing probably not. Oh, we can. That's nice. Walton's gang outfit. We have to eliminate all other players in a game of poker. Search Solomon's Folly? And we purchase... And then we gotta purchase it at Thieves Landing. Wait, does that mean that... This one we can already get, then. We just gotta go to Thieves Landing. The Bollard Twins outfit? We just need to head on over to Thieves Landing. When can we go there? Can we go there anytime? Oh. Are we, do, what did we just unlock the progress for the treasure hunter outfit? Search silence dead. Complete California strangers task. I wish you could see what they look like. Like these little, these images should just be shown in general. You're not gonna know for sure what it looks like until you actually get the model, but it'd be nice to know what it looks like before we actually unlock it. All right, MP, good night, farewell. Farewell until next time. Thank you, MP. Always a good friendly reminder. Don't forget to hit that like button if you haven't yet already. Very, very much appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you kindly. And subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Right here. Where's that machine gun, Irish? Oh, Mr. Marston. I, I found you one. Found us one, Irish. We're in this together. You, me, and an assault on Fort Mercer. I'm the guy that saved you from getting killed back there, and who you owe your life to, remember? <laughs> Not really. Happens to me all the time. You don't want it to happen to you again, do you, Irish? Uh, no, friend. I wants to buy you a drink. I wants to tell you how much she means to me, how special he is. And I want to tell you <laughs> that if you don't produce a Gatling gun within the hour, you'll wish you'd been killed back there. 
It's the whiskey, sir. It gives me the memory of a newborn babe. As innocent as can be. And it makes me violently angry. Shall we go look for that gun, sir? Yes. Let's do that. Rowdy! Uh, happy Tuesday, Rowdy. Welcome, welcome, welcome! Gosh, it's always jumping down on my lap like a crazy cat. My actual cat, not the in-game Zoe. Which I can't get to turn around! Come on, girl! Yeah, there needs to be... The cinematic camera made sense for stuff like this. We're just having conversations on the road. You're not gonna pass out on me, are you, Irish? <laughs> me? No, I'm right, this raid. <laughs> or at least somewhere stuck between fair and Madeline. Well, you're gonna be stuck somewhere between dying and dead if you try to cross me again. It weren't like that at all, feller. My intentions were pure. I swear it on me poor mother's life. I just gets a tad confused from time to time. Honest mistake. If there's any more confusion, I'll finish what your friends in Armadillo started. Jesus! You're an impatient bastard, aren't you? Where's the gun, Irish? <laughs> I hear some miners been blabbing about a machine gun they found. Apparently, they got it stashed up at Gap Tooth Breach. What do miners want with a machine gun? Shoot it at somebody, I suppose? Or sell it? I don't know. I've never been down a mine in all my life. Sounds real fishy to me, Irish. I've just about had it with you and your games. You and Wes Dickens are so crooked, you can swallow nails and spit out corkscrews. Maybe if you was more cordial with folks, they might be better inclined to help you. I saved your life and you repaid me by lying, nearly getting me killed. Not far now, Johnny. We should go around the side of Gap Tooth so the miners don't see us coming. I still don't know what miners would want with a machine gun. Miners are always fighty bastards. Spend too long without daylight and foxes and it starts playing with your mind. I never heard so much shit come out of one mouth. Only telling you what I heard. Oh, and we'll need a wagon or something to get it out of there. That gun's heavier than sin. So how was I supposed to move it by myself last time? Two-faced little bastard. Welcome back, Reese. Oh, damn it. Here we are. Let's Welcome stop back. here a moment to get a lie of the land. Where is this machine gun at? The entrance is plain to see, and there's a shaft them bastards use to haul out heavy ore. We, I mean you, can use that lift to get you and the gun to the surface. I do it all myself, but the mines play havoc with me sinuses. I'll find us a fine place to hide these horses, and then return with a borrowed flat wagon. I'll meet you at the mouth of the mine shaft, and Irish, I strongly advise you don't run off this time. Must be lost, Gentlemen, this is private property. You see what I mean? So if we're comparing John, if we're comparing John Marsden's peak in this game based on this game's gameplay mechanics, John's the better draw than Arthur. He's he's so insanely fast. But obviously it's just the difference of the gameplay mechanics between the two. I guess they decided it was too fast when they were doing the game the sequel. Del Lobo territory here. This is the mine. Oh, shoot. What you got on you, man? That sounds cool, Bleed. I have to take a gander at that at some point.
There's only one of me. But I'm worse. Way more. Why don't you go get some bread? Even this up a bit. You won't be above six for long, you son of a bitch. All right. Let's see. Oh, we're going to be able to explore this mine without it being collapsed. All right. So they still had the mine layout, supposedly, in Red Dead Redemption 2, but they had it collapsed. That's fun. That's clever. Oh, there he is. I can't really see him. Mm, all right, bleed. That's that sounds cool. Oh, shoot. Come on. Just drop the gun. It ain't worth it. Someone might as well have this. Oh my gosh. We just set that man on fire. Go home, buddy. Now we are playing this on the PS5 at the moment. You are left. How many of these fools are there? <laughs> That's what I just asked. Needs to be assembled. Like IKEA. Now we're gonna have to, have to fight people on the way back, aren't we? Oh, 
Oh, we can aim while pushing. Can we hide? Down? Hmm. When you're pushing the minecart, you get enough speed, you will automatically jump on. Ooh, hold on. Can we go back around this direction? That probably makes more sense, right? jump in. How do I jump in? Counter anybody yet. I'm assuming people are going to be coming out here at any given moment. All right, we didn't encounter anybody. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I'd be looking at your carps being hauled up this lift. Load up and I'll engage the gears. Damn. That thing would be so heavy, I would think. He is. What a beautiful weapon. God's own gun. Ain't that the truth? I got us a borrowed flatbed parked down. Meet me at the bottom of the hill. Nope. Oh, now we're encountering him out here. This should be a fair fight if you can shoot straight. Oh, <laughs> we can shoot while riding it too. Oh no. <laughs> Gosh, this is chaos. Dude, this would have been so much fun to do stuff like this in the second game. He had all this here. We didn't do anything like this. Let's go! A short wee ride now, and we'll have this executive peacemaker delivered to Old West Dickens. Make sure it doesn't fall off on the way. I'm liking these gathering and planning missions. If we just follow Irish, will we just immediately meet up with him? Where we're yeah. trying to meet up with him. Let's go. Wait, where's the gun? It's not in there. here so this gives us a chance to get into thieves landing i wonder if we'll be able to access the area or if we just or if we have to do these missions first we can buy some new clothes from thieves landing i guess we should meet up with nigel west dickens first We 
got a couple. Same guy? How can I refuse a challenge like that? Huh? Four? Just four? Right. Pay up. You beat me, mister. Nobody ever done that before. <laughs> I guess it's not the same guy. I thought it looked like the same guy. <laughs> but he's acting like we didn't already do this to him. Check sharpshooter in the challenge section of your journal. We actually haven't been looking at the journal. Oh, yeah. We have not been doing any of these. Skin five coyotes. Find Leon's treasure in Fort Mercer to unlock this challenge. Right. Rescue the girl at Twin Rocks. Hmm. Might get around to doing those. Come on. And we're trying to get into Fort Mercer right now. Yeah. Twin rocks we could head up to, though. Whoa, cougar, 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 cougar. Where'd he go? He ran away. I'm so used to them hunting me <laughs> in Red Dead Redemption 2. These cougars just run away. Come on. Oh, there it is. Whew. I think he was laying a trap for me, <laughs> this cougar. I imagine Nightgazer doesn't like the hunting and skinning in this one as much, because it doesn't show you actually doing it. I'm sure she was super disappointed when she first saw the new hunting mechanic in this one. Got some oil drills here. Nigel, we're here. <laughs> Mr. Marston, sir, John Marston. Mr. Marston, don't be so childish. Come on, sir, I implore you. Okay, okay, so I made a few innocent mistakes when last we met. If, but my plan is still sound. Together we can conquer, if not the world, and certainly Bill Williamson. But first, you need me to do you a favor? Ha <laughs> ha you read my mind. I can only deduce you have been taking my tonic, sir, as instructed. It can give the most ordinary of intelligences a remarkable insight. I'll give you insight. I'll show you what your guts look like. Please, sir, this show of petulance is nothing short of embarrassing. Think for a moment, sir. Think. 
I'm thinking about how much of my time you're wasting. Um, sir, sir, I am about to do something which I greatly discourage in all wise and rational men. A selfless act for you. But, sir, before I act selflessly, allow me to act selfishly and sell some of my wares. Fair enough. Oh, good, sir. Come, and let's go visit some of our fine friends in the other oil business we have here in Plainview. These men need all the help they can get. <laughs> yeah, but the Red Dead Redemption 2 look was my look. <laughs> it's just what I picked. <laughs> John Marston's natural look is... He's got kind of a Norman Reedus thing going on. He's got the Norman Reedus locks. Gentlemen, gather round, gather round. Wouldn't it look suspicious at all, us walking up with him. Friends, hardworking souls of uh, Plainview, do you suffer from rheumatism, lumbago, acute chronic sciatic, uh, neurologic, or inflammatory pain? Well, I represent the only company that makes the genuine article which cures headache, neuralgia, uh, toothache, earache, backache, swelling. This man is a fucking charlatan. He just got done swindling us down at Cho Springs with this song and dance. I say we tar and feather him right I now. I say we shoot the uh, bastard. I think it's time we take our business elsewhere. Uh, I apologize if science is not your forte. Good day, <laughs> one and all. <laughs> Somebody, <get that. laughs> oh my gosh, we're running. I think it's time we relocated our business, John. Let's go, my boy. I think we've outstayed our welcome here. Good, damn it. Oh, Nigel lost his hat. Poor bastard. I've been there before, Nigel. I feel your pain. We don't we don't seem to be able to lose our hat in this game. That doesn't seem to be a possibility. At least I haven't yet. Stopping. What are we stopping for? What, is there something in our way? What are we doing? He just wants to see me kill more people. Is all of Cola Springs following us? We're gonna kill the whole town, full people. I see that. Looks like he took a bullet straight through the chest. <laughs> How do these people harbor such bitterness? Well, I ain't surprised. That tonic I drank at Ridgewood went through me like a dose of Don't make me kill you! I think we took a bullet straight through the chest. We're chest bullet, brothers! This will bond us for life. 
gosh. I think that eagle just tried to attack us. Get out of here, eagle. your eye out why does everybody know where we're gonna be and where to head us off who's giving these people GPS coordinates smoke signals maybe somebody's over there someone got separated from the rest of the pack I guess yeah where is that guy I was expecting him to show up on the ridge. He's way over here. You're fine. Look, Night Gazer. <laughs> We're going to the non cave. I hear wolves. Well, that was a little hairy. Thank you, my dear boy. You saved the day again. It always impresses me with the speed with which a group of men can turn from passive sheep into murderous wolves. I'm impressed with how you nearly got us killed back there. Well, yes, uh, perhaps we should shelled the tonics business for a period. Let's say we try our hand at racing again. There's a meet at Rathskeller. You're trying my patience, Mr. West Dickens. Well, I'm sorry, dear boy, but I'm only an aging vendor of exotic elixirs, not the bloody U.S. cavalry. And forgive me if matters take some time to prepare. Someone, well, he has taken up residency here, I guess. It was just empty when we visited. Well, let's start his next one. We're already here. Yeah, I, I said that the the character difference. There's a significant character disconnect. And obviously it was just an evolution of writing from this one to the next one. But yeah, his, his character does not pan exactly from the second game's epilogue into this one. There's a lot of stuff that he tells people that doesn't make sense. When you compare it to the uh, epilogue's storyline... Mr. West Dickens! Ah, Mr. Marston! How wonderful to see you, sir. How wonderful. Are we ready, then? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, nearly, sir. Uh, very nearly, sir. I just need some cash to get some extra hardware fitted to my old Trojan horse here. You, you what? <laughs> Never mind, sir. I can only presume that you have not enjoyed the benefits of a classical education, so I will not take umbrage if some of my illusions sail over your head, sir. I won't pretend to understand you, but I will endeavor oh to make gosh, you understand me. Ours. Either we do this right now, or I put a bullet in you and get on with my day. Please, I knew you were a violent man, Mr. Marston, but I did not think you were a stupid one. We need money to outfit my carriage, to turn a simple tradesman's vehicle into something more subterfuge. <laughs> and 
I'm about to tell you how we are going to game, said Cash. Now I know that you ride very well. So come, sir, to Rathskeller Fork. <laughs> Let's go, my dear boy. Well, I mean, that would be appropriate. I mean, he's older in this game. He's younger and dumber, as people tend to be when they're younger. So how are you, John? Okay, all things considered, hopefully we can get through today without running into another army of your satisfied customers. Onwards and upwards, I refuse to let the blind stupidity of the proletariat derail my calling in life. Nothing blind about it. I'd say they saw right through you. Ah, uh, before knowledge comes doubt, my dear boy. Everybody knows you're as crooked as a dog's hind leg, Wes Dickens. I resent that implication, John. I wasn't implying. I was telling. If you're such a successful businessman, what are you doing living in a cave? Delightfully Dickensian, isn't it? If you say so. Are you familiar with the concept of philanthropy, John? I'm surprised you are. Oh, I don't do any of this for myself, John. I hope you realize that. You're crazy, old man. You seem to be forgetting that I've been part of your ridiculous charade. It's been quite a ride, John, hasn't it? We haven't gone that far. No, I mean us. Bridgewood Farm, Gap Tooth Creek, Plainview. We make quite a team, you and me. Brains and brawn. We should consider a more permanent partnership. This partnership ends as soon as I have Bill Williamson. I appreciate your help, but I've just about had it with all your scheme. You need to realize what's at stake here. I know, John, I know. Just win this race and we'll be ready. I give you my word. Run me off the road. That's a very sad thing you just said, Jen. Hopefully you can get to a point in life where you don't have to worry about that anymore. Wait, are we gonna actually race horses this time? Not yep. wagons? I'm down. Better be my horse. Gentlemen, this will be a fair race. No shooting, stabbing, cliff pushing, rocks throwing, cactus grinding, neck lassoing, setting fires, or other acts that causes a rider to unfairly lose his weight or bleed heavily or black out. Get yourselves ready. Set. Go. Come on. It's a bummer. Always make time. Don't work too hard. If you're working too much, I mean, what's the point? That's a sad... That's a sad thing. I 
Yeah, at the very least, man. You definitely should have weekends off that you can do some stuff. Hopefully you can get there. Cleo and I both work from home. And it's nice. Even if we're working or doing this other stuff, it's nice that we have each other nearby. Are you asking if I'm heading to college? Let's go. No. <laughs> I mean, not that there'd be anything wrong with going to college at my age. Depending on what you're doing and what you're learning. No, sc school is long behind me. I'm almost 40, Jen. He saw, he conquered. <laughs> what a fantastic <laughs> spectacle, John. Let's take a moment to bask in the glory of our victory. Have we got enough money now? Yeah, all right, all right, all right. Uh, yes, once Seth and Irish have furnished their side of the bargain, I think we should be ready. Quite a team we've assembled, don't you think? A bunko, a grave robber, and a drunk. How could things possibly go wrong? Success. Hello. That's how I'm able to remember playing games fondly in the early 90s. <laughs> early 90s, mid 90s. We got a stranger mission here now. We can play blackjack now too. Can we buy this place or can we rent it? Hello. If we can buy it, we'll buy it. We can. Let's do it. Should we check out this stranger mission while we're here? I feel like we're getting to a culmination. We just have Irish left for our main missions. And I do want to go to Thieves Landing. Forgive me, sir. Oh, sorry. I guess we could see who who this is. Look at this poor horse. Why won't nobody help me? <laughs> hey, partner, I need your help. You and every other fool around here. No, they took her. They took my love. They stole Jeff's heart and they, they took her away. What, what are you talking they about, took, friend? They took my love. They took Jeff's love by them gangsters. They hide out of tumbleweed. <laughs> can you help me, partner? Partner, can you help me? Oh, I doubt it, but if I head up that way, I'll see what I can do. Help a fella out, partner. I have a soul. <laughs> I'll help this poor bastard. 
Look for Jeb's love in Tumbleweed, but we're just looking for his love. <laughs> well, you gotta have stuff like that so it makes us feel like we're old. So we can be like, ah, the damn kids that don't understand what they're doing nowadays. And dancing and TikToks. <laughs> oh, wait, shoot, I'm not going the right way. Where does he want us to go? Oh, look, we have a follow up for Funny Man down here. Hmm. Maybe we'll hold off. When we come back out over here, we can knock out both these stranger missions. Uh, but we're already here. Mm. I don't even remember what, what happened with the funny man. <laughs> what was the precursor to this mission? Ah, let's go ahead and get it done. Gave me five dollars. Let's make this quick. Uh, yeah, I go back and forth. The internet, the internet revolutionized the world. It's, I would say, it's one of the most revolutionary things ever to come out of technology invention. I know people will cite like you know. Electricity, rightfully. The 20th century was a big deal, but I think the internet was the one thing introduced to society and to the world that really changed everything. How we viewed everything, our access to information, our access to world knowledge in general. But at the same time, I do miss not having the internet where the world did seem much smaller. But I would not give up the internet. <laughs> it's it's too valuable a tool. A modern society has become dependent on it, and for good reason. It's it's incredibly invaluable. doing here mister I've come for you a mercy mission your poor wretch of a man lost his mind I've seen him at Raskeller Fort uh, my man my man's dead ball man shot him about a month ago shot him in the back coming out of a cat house gave himself his medals just like I gave myself to that poor bastard unless you've been to hell you ain't seen no man of mine then where is she who Jeb's girl. Who's Jeb? No. Yep. Creepy kind of guy. It's probably the horse. Short black hair, mustache. <laughs> oh my, oh my. 
This is Lucy. This is Jeb's girl. You dumb fool. Uh, Took it off him yeah, about uh, a week ago. Hmm. Then you better come with me. <laughs> yeah. We better get her back to her man, huh? You gonna made my day. What a fine romantic you is. <laughs> well, come on, man. All right, follow me. Yeah. Oh, she's being nice. What? You're riding too fast for the woman to keep up. <laughs> gonna have a conversation come on man I gotta ask mister didn't Jeb strike you as being kind of funny most people out here strike me as being kind of funny but Jeb he's a special type of funny I'd say I'm inclined to agree with you miss <laughs> he got you good mister I'm glad you find it so amusing. I think he was being genuine. I don't think he actually tried to trick us. Hey there, Lucy. You decided to go back to your special man? Miss, are you speaking of that horse? <laughs> well, Jeb sees something in her, doesn't he? You think he's gonna have flowers waiting for her? There's some things I'd rather not think about. Mister, I gotta thank you. I'm gonna remember this one for a long time. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Come on. Mister, Mister, you found her, Mister. Oh, I found her, all right. Come here, girl. Come to daddy. Oh, you're so beautiful. I'm so strong, yet such a lady. I long to hold you. I missed you so much. You got problems, friend. Oh, I ain't got no problems. Not now that she's back with me. Oh, I remember a cold night that we spent together. Every night's been cold without <laughs> you, my <laughs> sweet thing. Oh. I thought I was sick in the head. I told you he was funny, mister. Life out here does that to people. Oh. I should know. My daddy kept goats. <laughs> holding its butt. Yeah. Oh, weirdo. Me and Lucy got some catching up to do. Go. Um. Yeah. I mean, if we're talking about the machine gun. I mean, we had several. Is that, what, is that what we're referring to? The machine gun? Because the machine gun's... Uh, the Gatling gun is in several parts of Red Dead Redemption 2 as well. Are we talking about... Oh, wait, no. We're talking about flying machines, aren't we? Isn't that what they were referencing? Was being able to fly? This is gonna be too far away. We can't fast travel right there, can we? We could go to McFarland's ranch if it doesn't let us. I have not been keeping an eye out for that treasure map that we have in hand. I probably should have been looking around more. But I keep forgetting.
I don't know, we can. We might miss stuff on the way. Eh, it's fine. We've been wanting to go to Thieves Landing for a while now. And it pretty much took us right inside. Oh yeah, I didn't even realize the marker I put was right inside Thieves Landing. Where can we go shopping? Or do we gotta do Irish first? There's a general store. Spaldings, but we don't take no month to deliver. Makes Name you lucky. Increases the items and money you lose by 20%. Yes, please. Proved campsite? It gives you a place to rest. Refills the ammunition for all types of guns you have. If you have none. Hmm. Okay. I see. I mean, I didn't really describe the double-edged sword of the internet. Sex should keep to what they know best. There is definitely some downsides that came with that come with the internet. But I just said I missed a time where things were more simple. I don't know if I would say that was that's a bad edge of the internet. Just sometimes it's it's interesting thinking of a time where you didn't have so much knowledge at your fingertips. You didn't see what was going on around the world. But if anything, it was just a veil. That's all that really was happening. It veiled you from, honestly, some of the crazier parts of the world. The only news you got was from papers and what they told you on TV. Was correct. Got some different horses in here you can buy. That's funny. So the Kentucky Saddler costs $1,500? That's the first horse you get <laughs> in that mission. That's crazy. Buy outfits at. Did I chew in tobacco? Stuff is so expensive. Someone of the entrepreneurial persuasion, like myself, I see. That's enough, friend. Is there another store where we buy outfits? Where do we buy outfits from? None of the women folk here know nothing but to handle the frick. He's got cloth and stuff in here. I would think it would be here. Am I missing it? Howdy, mister. See if your tastes be more refined than my other customers. All I see is a bunch of horses. Thank you very much. Don't tell your friends about me now. I wouldn't believe people could read if I didn't see all this Get on in. No, I don't want to ride. You can't make me. Oh, here we go, Taylor. We can't even see it until we hover over it. What is it? In the same place as the doctors? Zoe, what are you doing out there? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what the heck? Yeah. Whoa, bit of poetic justice. Beat Barney at least won't kill a new one. You want a duel? Sure. I got some time to kill you. Come on, man. Best get this over with and kill you good. 
Well, I don't want you to shoot my horse. I've already forgotten the mechanics of the duel. Jeez. He looks insane. Why is he making that face? I love the way the NPCs scream in this game. It's so over the top. We got Liar's Dice in this. Why did they not bring Liar's Dice back to Red Dead Redemption 2? Hello. Hello, sir. Where, Fox? You can't just leave. How long have you been here and watching? Not commenting. When did she say hello? How long ago is a while ago? An hour? Oh, I see that. <laughs> she said hi. She didn't say hello. <laughs> Who's crying? <laughs> Is it some of the NPCs that ran away? Yeah, Liar's Dice is fun. My kind of game. Another wagon got robbed near Mescalero yesterday. Yeah, there's some mini games in this one that would have been great. Why are you making that face, John? What's the problem? You won the duel. Calm down. It's over. Okay then. Any up. Another train got raided on Butter Bridge. All bid. You think I'm full of shit? Well, I was hoping he had one. He does have one. Boom. That was a good start. I won, you fool. Master Johnson's been digging around here, so Yeah. I mean, if he wants to play it slow, I guess. My bit. Wonder if you're a liar or not. Two sixes. Hmm. We could go for three twos. Do you think he has two sixes? Let's see if he's got a two, at least. Think I'll make a bid. I thought I had one of those trusting faces. Ah, <laughs> oh, he's got no twos. Ah, uh, we should have called him on the sixes. Take my die. I'll make a bit. Hmm. If he 
He's going four ones. Hmm. I smell bullshit. Bluff. All right, cool. He's got three dice. Should we call him on a b bluff right at the start? I call your bluff. <laughs> uh, what the heck? Man, do they, do they flat out bluff in this? Right, my bed. Hmm. Three you threes. Like That's literally impossible. Why would he do this? <laughs> Why would he do this? <laughs> we got a joker here. He had been super hopeful. Why are you sweating? So yeah, that's what I want to know. Is he bluffing on the one one? I mean, we have to we have to at least bid up. <laughs> we can't call him on the bluff because it's true. There is at least one on the table. Maybe. I've actually never tried them before. Really? Yeah. Could you put it in like a little bowl? Thank you. So we'll do the two sixes, I guess. Let's see if he calls our bluff. Slide dog. Yay. We won. He did have the one one. Thank you very much. Thank you. And they're thawed? I like that. You don't want to get these anymore? Depends on the cost. Yeah. They're probably not cheap. <laughs> yes, quit Liar's Dice. Yeah, I like Liar's Dice. That's a damn shame it's missing from the next, from the second game. Liar's Dice, Horseshoes? Yeah. Damn shame. Damn shame. Oh yeah, we never did check out the new weapon. Hi there. Can I show See you something special, sir? Springfield. Don't really need a Springfield or a sawed-off shotgun for that matter. I might be looking for something you got. Well, we haven't encountered any bears yet. Having the Springfield could be good for that, but we also have a shoddy that we could use on a bear. I mean, if you give me a scope on the Springfield, I'll be all over it. It's three hundred dollars, though. Be. What you got is a value. Could be. Hmm. 
Yeah, I don't see the benefit. There's been a few times where I would have liked having the extra range, but it's been very, very infrequent. But maybe that might change as we continue in the game. I don't know. But we can buy it later. Now I wish I had more of that. Thank you. That makes me sad. Yeah, maybe. What about two hours? Oh, that kind of sucks. I don't like planning that far ahead. It already drives me crazy planning a half an hour to an hour ahead to eat. Let alone two hours. Don't even get me started on slow cookers. <laughs> Um, what? Did we buy our stuff from the doctor? Oh, you're the tailor? Where's the doctor? So we can actually buy all of these. We can buy a bandana. What do we need a bandana for? Hide your identity so honor and fame won't change. Remove it to decrease your wanted level faster. Yeah, I guess. I want to know what this looks like before I spend $250 on it. Seriously, how do they not have a preview option? Alright, we're going to put a pin in that treasure hunter. What's, is there any benefit to this? Scrap of clothing belonging to a treasure hunter. Okay. I don't know if we That's need these I've or not. We'll hang say. on to them for now. Who's crying? Is this nun crying? I can't tell. Is she supposed to be crying? What's wrong? What happened? Did you witness, witness me murder that guy? It's definitely her crying. But I don't know why. What's happening over here? Is that guy stealing a woman? Oh shit! He must have backup! Thank you so much! You're welcome. What happened to him? Oh, he's over there. How did this happen? Goodness, put some clothes on, miss. Walking around outside. How much does this cost? I mean, are you asking? I do not garden. I mean, we don't have a garden, so to speak. We've done yard. I do yard work. You know, as needed. And then handyman work? I mean, I, mean I, I do stuff around the, the house. What do you mean? Like, like as hobbies? Handyman work? Or are you asking what I do for work? Well, he's asked me if I tried gardening. Hand, and then said handyman work. I, I take gardening as it's a hobby, but I can't picture handyman work being a hobby. <laughs> but I, it might be. It might be for some people. Yeah. Yeah. Carpentry. I don't know if I put handyman in there. You think he does that for a hobby? Well, he fixed the 
I don't know if he necessarily enjoyed it. I think he was just being helpful. Uh, for work, I do. I'm a, I'm a graphic designer, and I I do stocks trades. Cleo uh, works in corporate. Corporate America. So this is what we bought. This is the elegant suit. I mean, the vest and the tie, I guess. Yeah. At least we have our hat still. Whoops. I wanted to look at the other outfits. Okay, we can cheat at poker while we're wearing this. That'd be fun to try. Okay, so we purchased it, but we still don't have it. We still have to search Thieves Landing? What does that mean? We're already in Thieves Landing. What are we searching for? Okay, we purchased this one too, but we still have to eliminate all other players in a game of poker in Armadillo and then search Solomon's Folly. That's weird that... Wh why wouldn't they make it purchasable after you've done all the other things? Or why not just cut... Well, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. So we bought a couple outfits we can't even wear yet. I don't know what Search Thieves Landing means. Oh, shoot. We don't want to wear this outfit right now. Why did we slide down the stairs? Gosh, I saved again. All right, whatever. We're going to save. Then I'll change my outfit. Search Thieves Landing. I mean, what 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 else is there to search in Thieves Landing? Alright, I don't know. <laughs> let's just go let's go talk to Irish. <laughs> I'm sure we'll get it at some point. Up, sister. Put them up. Irish, what are you doing? Is that the lady Who that was crying? Give me that. I'm your old friend Amnesia. Oh, God. <laughs> Blimey. I've come to tell you. Uh. I don't intend to forget my name or your debt to me again. I'll make sure you reach heaven before these two ladies. Now get down there! Oh, 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 oh Mr. Marston. Uh, how are you? Ashamed. Uh, Ashamed to know you. What the hell's wrong with you, robbing these gentlewomen and ladies of the Lord? I thought they was doxies. Uh, ladies, I'm sorry about this man. He's unfortunately lost his mind to the demon drink. At least I hope he has, and he wasn't this stupid all along. So, uh, please excuse us. Now, Irish, that Gatling gun doesn't work. I find that rather upsetting, don't you? Oh, heartbreaking. Which is why I was just coming to see you when the drink got the better of me. <laughs> Come on. I know where we can find a, a parts for you. Oh, mother fucking Mary. <laughs> How about a drink or two, mister? 
Unfortunately, I've got a wife. I don't mind this aspect of John, though. You could say that over the years he's tired of people's bullshit. What a lusty specimen you are. I like that. That fresh air's got me head spinning like a top. Can't be good for a fella. Shut up, you lazy drunk. Before I stop your head spinning with a bullet. I resent that, Johnny. I've been working like a beaver on your behalf. You've been working like a weasel on my behalf. Bushwhacking defenseless ladies of the cloth? You must have been raised on sour milk, Irish. What are you talking about? I'm a good Catholic boy. You're a booze-blind coward. And you're a hypocrite, Marston. You've robbed just as many innocent folks as me. I tried to only rob those who had more than they deserved. Christ, the church has more money than anybody. Where are we going, Irish? Easy, just man. to Don't the warehouse here in Thieves Landing. I'm telling you, Johnny boy, it's all set up. We're meeting this pal of mine Friend, at the back door of the office. Hobble tongue fella by the name of Shaky. And he's got the ammunition we need? Jesus, stop fretting, will you? I knows about guns front, back, and sideways. You're gonna be real familiar with mine if things keep on this way. This is it. Come on, Smiler. Well, I'll be buggered. This door was supposed to be unlocked. Come on, let's see if we can get in around the back. I'm beginning to lose my patience. I'm starting to think you're soft on me, Johnny boy. Can't even sneeze these days without you being there to catch the drips. This is your last chance, you good-for-nothing shyster. You've already wasted too much of my time. Keep your eyes open. Shaky's all right, but I don't trust the gang of fools he runs with. Shaky's made the arrangements, and he'll... Oh, shite. Sounds like Shaky's only gone and got himself found out. <laughs> all right. Now all we have to do is find out who you work with. You hear me? Shaky, you wretched fucking son of a whore. Suck my again! <laughs> Oh. Labor relations don't sound like they're exactly at an all time high. You sneak in and get poor Shaky loose. I'll go get the wagon. Good luck, Marston. He's a good man, that Shaky. Irish is always leaving us. I'll be waiting out by the front. Tells us to do stuff and we just do it. Climb the ladders. We just break down that door and go in. Walk slowly or crouch to avoid detection. Why do we need to do that? Just, just get in there and put a stop to this. Sneak in through the window. Whoa! Oh, you got to be kidding me. <laughs> what the hell? Climb up the ladder again. No, he doesn't help. You would think at this point, John would be like, No, you're staying here and you're coming with me. One guy heard us while we were up here. Right, let's see if we can slide down right here this time. Why are we being sneaky? What are we sneaking around for? Why don't we just take them out? <laughs> what are we sneaking for?
Mister, I thought, 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 thought I, was, I was dead, man. My kindness is only as good as the bullets you can fetch up for me and your friend Irish. Let me down, and you'll be a dead man. This is gonna be one, one, one hell of a fight. All right, let, 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 let's get out of here while we got the chance. Stay good. Oh, brother. I want to hit. No, stop auto aiming for that guy. I want to hit that dynamite right there. <laughs> but it keeps forcing me to aim at that guy. You can't even do like a soft aim like you can. This the ammo? The only blue crates in here? Yeah. Now we're even. Half even, Shaky. You still owe me for them morphine pills to calm your nerves. <laughs> you'll, you'll get your half. More, you d d d dirty f f f f fucking snake. Uh, b -b 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 All right, gentlemen. <laughs> Let's go. Fucking. Fuck. <laughs> All right, pop on. I'll get us out of here. Come on, time we was making tracks. Did you have fun in there, you and Oh, Ew, my virgin ears. This damn machine gun of yours. I'm sorry I missed all the dramas. You always miss all the drama. There must be cobwebs growing on that holster of yours. Someone's got to drive the wagon, don't they? Teamwork, Johnny boy. That's my game, not just the glory like you. Oh, 
Archer, you've got enough ammunition here to take down a small country, fella. I'm gonna need it. Bill Williamson's got himself an army. So I guess this is where we part ways, Johnny Marston. Or maybe not, friend. You're gonna be right alongside me when I take on that fort. After all you put me through, it's time you pull the damn trigger for once. Show me what a big, bad killer you really are. Uh, yes, of course. What am I thinking? Don't worry, you can count on me. I just hope I don't steal all your glory. Wouldn't be right or proper. Impressive, Marston. We'll have West Dickens's wagon rigged and ready to go soon enough. Success. We're not very famous. Our honor is getting pretty freaking high. Famous? Not as much. Let's see. Alright, so we're going back to Fort Mercer. Meeting with Marshall Johnson. Just on the outskirts. Yeah, let's go over here. I miss cooking and drinking coffee. Give me a drink coffee option, John. Search for those damn turkeys all around for Fort Mercer, too. And all the way up here down south. Let's go. Miss my binoculars. Come on. Hey. Get out of the way, tree. Just talking. I think we had a random encounter that we missed. John? Marshal? Gentlemen! <clears throat> uh -huh. I Irish actually showed up? Uh -huh. It's time. We must go. Why? What's happening? Seth has managed to get himself inside. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. But we can't leave it too long, or they will soon realize how very curious he is and remove him from the premises. Or slit his throat and watch him bleed to death. But for a minute, he will delight and amuse them. That's when he'll get us inside. Okay. Marshals of the law, <clears throat> when the shooting starts, take that as your cue to start awarding each other medals. Hmm? 
I mean, take that as a cue to get inside and clean up the mess. Oh. All I care about is Williamson. It is vital we stop him. Agreed. That man is a stone-cold killer. Williamson's a proud fool. The question is which will win out between his pride and his instinct for survival. Esconce yourself in the back of my wagon, John, so that we can make our grand entrance. Mind if I do. Come on, let's go. All right, good. Now just stay put till I tell you otherwise. That scoundrel Seth had better not let us down. Once we're inside and I lulled our adversaries into a false sense of security with some beguiling sales patter, I will give you the signal. What signal? The moment you hear a sharp rap on the side of the wagon, rise like the phoenix and start shooting like you've never shot before. This is it, my dear boy. The moment of truth. Me and you, John. Dude, one I wouldn't want to be the one the on a, a Gatling this gun like this. You're, you're just a target. Don't get the, better of me. I'll be honest with you, John, I'm a little the odds of you taking everybody John? out before someone John? takes you out? Of miracles back Super here. slim. Thank God. And I'll be ready with that machine gun, my dear boy. I'll be a sitting duck in there. Talk to anybody or anything. <laughs> what would you say if I said immortality was at hand? What would you say if I told you I could teach you to fly? <laughs> what would you say if I told you I could turn a man into a beautiful woman? <laughs> Impossible, yes, once, but no more. Gentlemen, I bring you wisdom from the East. I have here in this wagon some of the finest goods, the best medicines, and the newest inventions available for you and your families. Exotic trinkets from the far reaches of the earth, elixirs that give vigor and strength. <laughs> and uh, for you men of physical skill and athletic physique, uh, this miraculous elixir can keep the muscles supple and relax the cords. It loosens the joints and gives a feeling of vigor and freshness to the whole system. Why, some men have reported to me that after drinking it for one month, they can chew through steel. <laughs> what the hell? It's a trap! Yeah! You know what? <laughs> this would not work. <laughs> Took our time. Not up here, so. Oh shoot, there's still a bunch more. Fucking 
dang pig. Them cock-sucking some bitches escaped the other side of the fort. All right, let's go. Come on, let's go. Weird how, like, Jay actually being here with us and fighting. Still can't find Williamson anywhere. Hey, it's the snake oil guy! Geraldine, let me in, for goodness sake! That fool must be hiding. Man, it is time to start tearing this place apart and find out where he's cowering! You got sense of urgency here, please? Open the gate! It's the snake oil guy! Oh, what Get the, the goddamn gate open and lock it behind him! Hmm. Oh, we've got company, gentlemen. These scoundrels have got reinforcements riding this way. Oh, my good Lord above. There must be a hundred of them. What? Is John just going to go out there? <laughs> oh, no. They got their own gun. Mexico yesterday morning. <laughs> You'll never get him. Javier Escuela. He's gone to see Javier Escuela. That should make things interesting. Where in Mexico? How should I know? Oh! <coughs> Where in Mexico, you little shit? <coughs> Some place near Chuparos, I think he said. <laughs> That's bandit country. John should fit right in. Super feckin' Rosa. Well, oh, I'll take you there, John. Uh, I'm real popular down there. <laughs> you just meet me at the ferry. I've got lots of friends down south. I'll see you at the ferry, Irish. I'll just get me things. I'm sorry about this, John. I don't think I could take him I seriously. Mexico. <laughs> so it would seem. 
How is it down there? Wonderful. A sweet, peace-loving people with the love of social justice. May you always find coin in your pocket. It's been a pleasure spending time with you, boy. You too, Mr. West Dickens. Marshal. All right, boys. That's enough. Okay. It's kind of weird how much of a focus Bill is, considering how much of a non focus he was in the Red Dead Redemption 2. Uh, we had some good missions with Bill, I guess. But he definitely didn't, in terms of the whole gang, he definitely seemed sig much less significant than all, most of the others. The idea that Bill, of all the old gang members, rising up to power like this is kind of crazy. Forgive me, friend. Yeah, let's go meet Irish. Come on. We're already going to Mexico. Yeah, we're meeting him all the way down here. Oh yeah, this is the dock. That little house. I suppose we can drift down this hill, can we? <laughs> Could fast travel there, but we haven't really wandered down south very much. Oh, that's a cougar. down this way. Oh no! Oh, we're fine. <laughs> so super simple. If only, it, well, if only we were able to coast down off cliffs like that in the second game. <laughs> Exact same in incident. Yeah. First time around this happened, it was also a Chinese guy that was under fire, and then he gave us a map. That guy did not give us a map, though. All right, let's see. Zoe, stop! Let's go. Hmm. <laughs> Are you the only plant that's available in the game? I, I mean, I haven't really stopped to pick up, but anytime I have stopped to look at what the plant is nearby, it's always been the same thing. Let's see, there's some more. Hmm. Let's go. 
Yeah, there's this cabin. That's not where we're heading. Oh, that's right. This is where we first tried to find the gun. And it mounted to nothing. Now, John can't swim, but can we take our horse through water? I'm kind of scared to try. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, this doesn't give us easy access to water right now. We haven't, uh... We haven't, um... <laughs> tried making John swim. Just for the hell of it. Not yet. back. He's coming back. I want to pick up these bottles. <laughs> we, don't, we don't do that in this game. This is just ammo, I take it. Oh, no, we got 15 bucks. $15. Go. Just four again? I don't see any others. Not such a hot shot after all, are you? Shit, I guess my sights are out of line. Easy, Zoe. You just ran me over. Yeah. does seem smaller. I haven't hunted a coon yet.
There's probably a better way to be going. Same broken house. Yeah, the positioning on this is wrong, too. I mean, this just basically goes to show even more so how much smaller the river is. I mean, this is... This is, this is almost a creek. But yeah, when you, it, when you consider that the, the treasure map even illustrates that this has a nice overlook of the, like, the chasm, the opening... It's definitely not here. Can I not open this? This chest is just begging to be opened. Oh, there we go. Slowest raccoon in existence. Ah! There must be someone. Else. <laughs> yes, well, that's what makes you such an interesting fellow, Mr. Irish. <laughs> ah, Mr. Marston, I've come to wish you well. How are you, sir? I'm okay. It seems that our friend Mr. Irish here is well connected south of the border. Oh, it's true. Uh, they love me down there. It's like a second home. I've got more friends than you could shake a stick at, should you so desire. So you know the way. Oh, it's easy. We just get on me raft here and let the current sweep us away to paradise. Come on then, Dobby. I'm not sure your idea of paradise and mine are quite the same, Irish. Relax, we'll have a great time and we'll find your man Williamson no bother. I hope so. Hey, come on now. Look at it this way. I know we ain't exactly old pals, but, you know, have I ever done you wrong? No, but not through lack of trying. Hey, well, you boys have fun down there. I shall miss you, John Marston. Thank you. Where are you headed? Oh, me? Oh, uh, London or Paris or, uh, or maybe Peking. I'm a traveling man, sir. This land is much too small for the likes of me. <laughs> what? Well, try not to get yourself killed. Oh, well, yes, we men of science are not a very loved bunch in this land of myth and superstition. I'm off to the civilized world where men like myself are revered and given medals. Ha! Hmm. Have fun. The same to you, sir. The same to you. <laughs> Nice of you to turn up for once, Irish. What do you mean? 
In usual fashion, you conveniently missed all the action of Fort Mercer. What can I say? I woke up with me head in a pair of tits, and it felt ill-mannered not to get reacquainted with them. At least you got your priorities straight. You know me, Johnny boy. I'll be late to me own funeral. They say God invented whiskey to stop the Irish from ruling the world. Well, you're here now. What the hell? Shite, somebody doesn't like it. Cut the rope, Irish. We're sitting duck here. Oh, my good lord. Cut the rope? What? All right, I'll beat this fucking tinderbox once you lose these sons of bitches. Shooter at the back of the round. Reload from that box at the back. Did he just give us? Did he just give us a spring? What did he, he give us? Gosh, throwing dynamite at us. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that worked out well. Faster, John. Man, I thought this was going to have better range. Better cover! Ah, frickin' Irish. Heads up! More of them up on the cliff to the left! You can still run away! You must be taking up another Irish fella! This ain't exactly the reception I was expecting. They're not ones to forgive and forget, these fellas. Nice, you fucker, What the hell did you do to these fellas? I have a little bit of to with money, and possibly some misunderstanding about the fellas daughter. You ain't getting another penny out of me! I came 
came into this wild poison, and I'll go out of it fighting. There's a horse stuck in that ground. Poor horse. This is the fourth time your so-called friends have nearly got me killed. I thought you said they loved you over here. They do. At least the lassies do. Oh, the big brown eyes turn stone into butter. They would. And the Mexicans know how to make a bottle of liquor too. But that poor it is a Springfield. Gosh, I'm glad we didn't waste our money buying it. I'm just here for Bill Williamson. Well, I'm glad to be back. This place is a wild devil's paradise. Apart from the fellas trying to kill you. Down here they call me El Rato, the cat. On account of himself, funny. I'm pretty sure Rato means rat, my friend. I like it though. A little more inventive than Irish. Well, you Americans never were very creative with your use of language, was you, John Marston? They're still coming! Behind that big rock! Dead. shooting gallery. Look fresher <laughs> and healthy. <laughs> oh my god, you degrade these poor fools any further. Tell me where I'm headed. I guess some of the models of course, do have of course. testes, Let me think. <laughs> or it was just for that one here. sequence. Aside from your friends who welcomed us on the way, yes, I think so. <laughs> I was real drunk last time I was here, John. You know how it is. 
I, I met an American guy, uh, uh, saw him shoot a man, uh, drank with him in the village of Chuparosa. Funny guy. <laughs> uh, <laughs> or was that Canada? <gasps> no, that was Canada. Guy here, not funny, but he's real nice. Uh, failing that, uh, you could try the provincial governor, uh, Colonel something or other, some Spanish name. He's based out of Escalera. I uh, played three card stud with him. Uh, or was it four card Monty? <laughs> I forget. He was a real nice chap. Or maybe he was a real bastard. <laughs> I was real drunk last time, John. <laughs> well, thanks a lot for your help. Oh, let me guess. You gotta be on your way. <sighs> the famed hospitality isn't what it once was. And I've never been known to overstay me welcome. So off I go to greener pastures. Good luck, John. You're an angry and a fat, ugly man. But not a bad one. <laughs> I don't know how to take that. Items. Now we're finally in Mexico. In front of a runaway train, just to feel alive again. Pushing forward through the night, aching just to move aside. So far, so far away. It's so far, so Hey, about this. Welcome, welcome. We need to get Zoe back. We need to go save is where we need to go. And unfortunately, it's looking like our safe house is here. At least we have a safe house. Apparently there was a... Oh, I don't care about rentable property. If we could have bought it, I would have bought it. Don't care about renting property. But let me buy property as I see fit. I'll buy every every shred of property. We're gonna own land and buildings everywhere. And then a hundred years from now we're gonna turn them into parking lots. Just a 
<laughs> yeah, exactly. Just have parking. Parking. Parking garages. <laughs> everywhere. We'll be rich. We'll be over 100 years old, but we'll be rich. Come on. Is this guy racing me? Get out of here. Houses? <laughs> what is this? Crooked toes. On, easy up now. Yeah. This is just a dock. There's not even a mattress. <laughs> oh look, there's Zoe. Is that Zoe? Zoe, what are you doing here? <laughs> How'd you get over here? You just walked across, didn't you? We just did a quick swim across that small river while we were fools getting shot up on a raft. What the hell's happening over here? It's just a guy running away from. Excuse me? Is it just the same thing we've ever seen in New Austin? Two lawmen chasing <laughs> a bandit? Oh my gosh, he's surrounded. <laughs> yes, of course. She probably did. She probably found a small part in the river and just passed across. No harm, no foul, super easy, no one probably even noticed. All right, well, we are officially in Mexico. We are now in Mexico. Off to new lands new adventures to be discovered, yeah? It feels nice, like, being able to pass over into Mexico. It's a damn shame they didn't finish more of this map, or it's a damn shame that they didn't have the time to finish it, but... Hey, Sarah. Oh, well. But, uh, yeah, we're gonna call it there. It seems like a good a time as any to, to end right there as, as we passed over from New Austin into Mexico. And we will be back tomorrow to continue, continue playing more Red Dead Redemption. But uh, thank you for tuning in, guys. Thank you for watching. Of course, don't forget to hit the like button if you haven't yet already. Very much appreciated. Muy apreciado. And uh, don't forget to subscribe as well if you want to be notified of future streams. And if you are watching this at a later time, thank you for taking the time to do so. And until tomorrow, everybody, sleep well, be well, stay chill, stay relaxed. I will see you then. Good night and goodbye.